left last week. Sir Finthal was looking at three giants. They were uh, seemed to be having an argument. Uh, as you guys slowly peeked through the secret door that you opened. And right now, they don't seem to be aware of you. They seem to be kind of caught up in their argument. And I did show a picture last week and probably in the Discord, but uh, uh, let's see if this... I mean, that's what they look like. They're really tall. 12 to 15 feet. The other two on the other side of him look like the ones that you guys saw upstairs. But you guys haven't seen one of these. So, Mr. Finthal, what do you want to do? Yeah, I don't I don't know if... Are we rolling initiative or... Do, do no, they not know we're right here? No, they're not. Nobody's aware of anything other than Mr. Finthal and Drog. Yeah, I don't know if I just want to charge in an attack or if I want to play with these guys. Drog always favors charging an attack with giants. But he's going to follow your lead here. All right. Well, instead of bantering around with them, that's going to lead to a fight anyway. We might as well charge and attack. All right. Let me go ahead and put everybody in uh, combat. And then They're we'll... 50, 60 feet away from where we're standing. Yeah. So, I want Sir Fimfall, give me a D10. You guys don't roll for initiative yet. I have not started combat. Out in the open, okay? Yeah. yeah. Well, even with the minuses, because you guys both wearing some kind of loud armor, they are still uh, unaware of your presence. So when I do begin combat, they are not going to get a action this round. They will get it next round. All right, so we can well, go for ahead. Initiative, oh, yeah. Then. Yep. Right. Yeah. I'm going to do Archie. I was waiting for the dice okay. to move. Check the uh, cast time on that spell, Blackmouth, because that may be a turn. I don't remember. I know there's some summonings that are a turn. Which it is one turn. Yeah, that's ten rounds. Uh, okay, let's not do that then. <laughs> that's what I thought. It's a good thing to do before you get in a fight, like if you guys would have backed up and then cast it and then moved in. Something like that. Okay, uh, I'll, just, I'll just leave his initiative where it is, but... Um, He's not going to cast that spell. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so our first person to go is Jason. Jason, um, you can't really see what's going on up there. I mean, you can certainly do something. Um, it would probably be better if you delayed. In fact, anybody that's behind Sir Finfall and, and Drog probably should delay whenever if you're before them because you that can't That was my really plan. See. Okay. Yeah. And come through it, I would do this, suggest the same for you, unless you're casting buff or something like that, some kind of buff spell. And it's a no. I don't have any. Okay. We're looking for delay. One second. On the HUD, it is the delay uh, icon, or on the combat tracker, it's the hourglass icon. One of the two. The HUD for your character. You know where all your buttons pop up? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that to even pop up right now. Hold on a second. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, I got it. Okay. Ah, it's your Femfall. You are first All to go. Right. I move bases. T- what, 12? 120? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, it should so. be 12 squares if you're not encumbered. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you can charge too if you would like. Yeah, you don't I have would. To. All right, so I target myself and take the charge. Yep. And we're on pause. Yeah, that's fine. I'm waiting for him to do his stuff. All right. Yeah. Now I can move. You can waypoint your move. I mean, you can move straight at the uh, first thing you know, the guy that's right here. All right. Make your one attack against the giant creature. Give yourself uh, an additional plus two because he is still unaware of your presence. Of course, he won't be after you swing. Wow. It's a lot of pluses. It is, isn't it? Damage is unmodified. Yeah. Okay. Eight damage. All right. In turn. All right, Archie. Okay. Yeah. What's Archie want to do? Do you want to move the Silver Surfer yeah. with Finfall? Oh, he didn't follow me in. Yeah. That's probably because I had not follow. Not so. Yeah, I'll worry about it after the fight. 
Wait, you, you're doing Archie, right? Or you want me to do him? Oh, is it Archie's turn? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. That's, no. Sorry, yes, I am. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move him in as far as I can. He should go jump on top of the table. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to run him in and jump him on top of that table because he can see it. He can shoot over our heads, too. All right, so if he's going up on the table, that's all his actions for that round because that yep, is a giant-sized table. Okay. Well, the problem is he couldn't attack anybody he couldn't see, so uh, now he can but, see him so next turn. Yeah. And Drog. Okay. Uh, I guess Drog has a move base of six, and that's right about the limits of the fire giant. Can he charge and still get one swing? Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't think it's as far as you're thinking, because it was only about 30 feet for Sir Finfall. Oh, okay. Check the These are like five-foot squares. Uh, it should be, yep. Yeah. yeah, see, it's only 30 feet. It would be probably 35, because you got to go around the corner, but I'm not worried about it. Is it not letting you clip that wall? Yeah, what do I click to make it turn the corner? Uh, to waypoint, left-click, and then move it again. Click on the ground. Is it control left click? There you go. Here. No. Do this. Left click and then that, like that. Can you not see where my line was? I did. I just got spastic with the keys. Yeah. Control. There you go. Okay, now that we finally made it. <laughs> Is that plus two on a charge? Uh, if you add the effect, which you should have on your character sheet, uh, yeah, add, here, let me do it for you. All right, you're good, go. It'll auto do it now. Nice. Okay, there we go. All right, and Mr. Blackmouth, what is he doing? Uh, he's going to move up in the room next to Archie. Yeah, I guess he's going to climb up on the table next to him as well. So, yeah. and that is it for this turn. All right, Jason. The, uh, my ring of invisibility effect is no longer on my effects tab. I'm not sure where it went. Did you anyway, delete I, it again? I, I, I did not delete it. It's right there on your ring, man. Click your ring. It's in your actions tab. You, you need to apply it to yourself from the ring. Uh, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't use, I mean, you can use the disable enable part of that, but if it's not there, you, you use the ring to apply the effect to you. The disable toggle is only there after it's been enabled. You have to activate it on a different right. tab. He changed yeah. it a couple months ago, I think. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what, what we're talking about, but. You should uh, be able to turn it off and on in the same place, but you can't do that now. Ah. Uh, there's an effects tab, is that what you mean? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the toggle. You used to be able to toggle it on and off in the same place, and you can't do that now. Now that I've uh, now that I've put it uh, now that I've applied it as an effect, it's on my effects tab. Right. But as soon as you toggle, toggle it off, it's going to disappear. Got it. Hit it. Toggle it off. Let me see, because it shouldn't do that. No, it's it, still there. It, it goes to inactive. Then click it again. Then maybe when he logs on next week, it won't be there because that's exact. It wasn't there when I played him when he was at the convention. Until I got the effect on, on a different tab. I don't remember which one that is. Okay. All right. Anyways, you are there. And you turn, Gunthrid. Sorry, I'm trying to do the waypoint thing. All right. So you'll go to here, and that's as far as you can go. Because uh, you couldn't see any further, could you? Yeah. Although, how far was that? How far is that? Oh, you're not. Oh, wait. You got uh, boots of uh, speed too. So. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. You can't throw your hammer from here if you would rather, because you you have moving weight. Well, uh, you've only got one. So normally, what happens is your rate of fire is cut in half if you move uh, when on range. So you can't throw it, but you can throw it next round. If you had two attacks per round, you could throw one right now. Like an archer can move, if he long as he moves less than half his move, he can shoot once. Can I move right here? Yeah, I'll put you there. And then end your turn. Jolly. Okay, my plan was to get my short bow ready, move in, get in range of a spell I might want to cast next round, and take a shot with my bow. Is that possible? 
If it's under half my move, I think you just said. Yeah, if you move less than six, you can shoot your bow right now. Okay. If you get to where you can see them, yeah. Move yourself where you want to go. If you've put up the measure thing, you guys need to get off the measure thing. There you go. So that was 20. Yeah, you can make a single shot from there. Hold on, I got a measure. I might be in range right now. You can't move and cast spells, so. I know, I'm just getting ready for next round. Okay, this is good. I'm going to take a pot shot from here. Yeah, and these guys are way taller than everybody else, so unless you roll like a one, you're fine. You're not going to hit your party, guys. Of course, now he's going to roll a one since I said that. Do I get any pluses, or is it just straight up attack? This one shot, yeah. If you were melee, you'd get a plus. Well, not a one. All right, Delwar. Right, I guess I want to move as far as I, as close as I can to them. So I got to get up, up to where I can see and then take a right, I imagine. That's where everybody, yeah, you know, Finfall and everybody kind of went in and went right, yeah. And you can see everybody is looking in that direction. Um, and that's where Finfall ran, that sort of thing. Well, lovely having the same problems as uh, everybody else with their control click thing, so. <laughs> so on the left side of your screen, you probably have measurement set. Yeah. Not, let's turn that off and then it'll work. Uh, I can't do anything for your side to turn that off, but you should have the top two boxes in the top left right below the D20 selected. The little person and the select tokens should be the only two things that are orange circles around. Once you do that, control clicking and dragging your token will give you a waypoint. Click on the guy, don't hold control, and click it and then hit control, or actually, hold on. Yeah, just uh, actually start with control click. Yeah. And the only reason I spend a lot of time with you guys trying to get you to do this is because you need to know how to do this. <laughs> Why is, is can, you using a Mac? Yep, that's what I was thinking about. It was, huh. it was alt. Ask Wade how you do command. it. Just, or command. Or command. Okay. Right, well, you're where you want to be. Uh, I don't know how far you just moved. Uh, I think your move base is 60. Yeah, see, you only can move 30 more. You won't be able to attack, but you can attack next round. Yeah, that's when I get behind him. Uh, okay, now we know. Mac problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Superior product problem. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, now the giants are aware of you guys' presence. They're all just like uh, they were arguing and yelling at each other. Um, the uh, large uh, red skinned, red haired giant spins around to see who hit him in the back. And uh, when he does, he pulls out this long, I think. Yeah, he pulls out a giant two-handed sword when he does, when he spins around and he eyes you and you can see a green emerald glow from his eyes. The other two don't have it, but he does. Ooh, he's under control of the witch. Evil, evil. All right, Gunson. Watch out for flying monkeys. That was the Batman dude from SpongeBob, by the way. Yeah. Remember how you do your attack with this. Okay, you got it. I'm not doing one. No! No, I did it private. Uh, I, I can show yeah. you. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Missed by seven. Alrighty. Alrighty, I'm gonna try to take a backstab. Or whatever. You absolutely can, yeah. 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 Uh, so, add a situational uh, plus four to hit. The blind GM roll? I don't remember on this. No, 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 you do it out in the open. Uh, what was that? I don't know what the heck that was. So, the first one... They, who, who? He, have, he has him self-targeted and the oh, fire giant do. twice? He's oh, got no. him self-targeted and... And, uh, and the fire giant. Yeah. So I missed the giant. Uh, yes, remove your... You also motion. missed yourself. But it doesn't look like you added the plus four situational on set, but you still missed by six. That's still, you would have missed by two more, unfortunately. Right. Still, so uh, just remove your invisibility and you are done and uh, move cool. on to Jason. All right, I'm moving. Yeah. Nope. 
That's a table. That is a really tall table. You are not going to be able to go any further than right there if you're climbing on top of that table bench and all that. Okay. And if you are moving silently, you can only move a third of your move, by the way. And your move is probably 12, is my guess? Is your move base 12? Yeah. Are you trying to move silently? Uh, not really. Okay. All right, then you're good. But, and, but I did execute the uh, the correct procedure with the uh, keys. You did. To move. <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, yeah. sir. You are the yes. winner. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, sir. All right, John. All right. Before I cast this, I should confirm something. The picture you showed the fire giant was wearing chainmail. It does he have uh, metal armor? On? Let me read the description and see what they are wearing. It may just be the picture, but I don't know. Huh. Uh, it doesn't really say. Uh, it doesn't say. But he's so using a metal weapon. Yeah, just assume he's. We'll, we'll assume he's got some kind of metal plates or something because he. Yeah, I'll explain later. But we'll just assume he's wearing some kind of metal armor. Okay, then I'm gonna use chill metal. Uh, target him. At, uh, don't. Does he get? A, he doesn't get a save, does he? Or does he? Actually, he may. You'll have to do this, but I don't remember. I don't see anything in the description about save, but maybe uh, I don't just know. Target him and click and do the cast thing. We'll see real quick. Yeah, do the cast. Yeah, no save. All right. Uh, the effect is probably for you to keep track of the duration. Actually, stick it on him. You're going to have to remember all. I don't remember what any of this stuff So it does, does uh, 1d2 the first round, and then, like, uh, oh, it does nothing the first round, 1d2 the second round, 1d4, 3, 4, 5, and then 1d2, and then none. So it kind of amps yeah, up and the, then amps on down. On the cold one, yeah, the cold one, it's I see you do 1 to 2. Uh, Correct. But he has, it affects his to hit if he's using a metal weapon. Okay. Yeah. Where does it talk about the to hit? Uh, towards the bottom of the spell description. Loss. Someone's this causes loss of in. feeling in the hand. Uh, let me find that. For one d four days. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was uh, some sort of penalty. This causes loss of all feelings. In the, oh, okay. It can't be used for fighting. The hand can't be used for fighting. On the final round of freezing, the affected creatures must really successfully oh, save yeah. the spells or suffer a number of effects from the cold. So, assuming he sur- assuming he kills all you guys, then he'll make a save. Yeah, <laughs> he might probably won't last that long. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. 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 He failed. Uh, you stuck the effect on him. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, one second. Let me. I need to move that targeting thing because it's putting it right on top of his effects as well uh let me see simple smart targets top left we're gonna put all you guys on the top right and maybe that'll redo it on the next round all right so end your turn if you're done all right black mouth okay black mouth is casting flaming spear and i'm hoping that it um can also shed light and i can roll it up to be able to see the stuff Oh, wow, you can't see anything in there, can you? <laughs> that sucks. Okay, uh, do a cast a spell. Um, I cast it. There's It says versus spell, so there's no real save, right? Well, it not just... right now, no. You, okay. You're casting it to put it somewhere, and you can only put it where you can see, so you, you can only put it, like, right there. So do, do I hit the effect on the spell or no? Uh, it's to track the duration of it. You put it on yourself. Okay, target myself and hit effect. Uh, I don't know. Actually, it says apply duration timer to caster. Yeah, if you read the little thing when you cast, it says what you're supposed to do. Okay, got it. Got it. I think we're good. Yeah, you'll be able to move it next round. Sorry about that, guys. It's your finfo. All right, I'm going to do my first attack. Yeah. These spellcasters are taking all this time. He's probably just going to freaking stab it in the head. Him and Drove. He definitely hit it. Chop it into little pieces. That's what we do. Oh, not much damage. Then delay for my second attack. Yep. All right. So Mr. Giant is going to move to the defense of the big guy. He's going to move here and attack the drog. Are those hill giants? Yeah. They're the same thing. Okay. They certainly look like it. 
Oh, he hits. 20 damage! Ouch! Go to giant number two. He's gonna do the same thing, only he's got a little guy right here. That's what we, uh, He's gonna do the same thing, use his club to attack. And he misses. And lastly, the fire giant. Is Are we not swing. supposed to see your rolls? Uh oh, I have everything set to private jam roll. I'm sorry. I'll I'll reveal. I'm sorry, I did not know I was doing that. There you go. I I reveal the whole bunch. Is that better? You nope, should be thanks. able to see all of them now. Sorry about that. I like to show everything unless it's just a reason for it to be private. Uh so Anything you can see generally the re the result of, I won't hide. Uh, so, uh, Fire Giant is going to swing at Serpentfall with his two-handed sword. Oh! Yeah. Thank, thank goodness. I so I get a feeling that's going to hurt. Drog. Drog staying on attacks. the Fire Giant. Yep. Yeah, I do both your And he gets, he gets two attacks, yeah. Hey, you guys are the only ones left, so... Nice. Ooh. We do anything max special or damage? Max or double, you pick. Oh, I just rolled. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't uh, pick either one. So roll one more. No, no, no. Don't roll one more. Uh, so uh, you want to undo it, and I'll do it again. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, <laughs> booyah! <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, now we're hitting again. Oh man, this guy's not even gonna get the one swing off. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, take that, giant. Yeah, you guys got it. <laughs> nice. All right, what's Archie doing? Uh, Archie's going to take target at this hill giant to Drog's right and do right. his two arrows. Yeah, go for both of them. Keep in mind that if he is within 30 feet, he gets extra bonuses to hit. Uh, so if he got closer. Yeah, I don't think he's within I mean, 30 feet. That other one might be in range already well they're both about the same but i i just want to i'm saying that as you may not know that oh that one missed Dang, oh wow two twos in a row wrong. archie uh, what about dude and now i can't do my attack since no, i was back no. dead. end your turn so delwar you can i mean you can stand toe to toe with this giant or you can do a tumble and get That's out of the way. Playing. Okay. Or there's also a, a um, fallback maneuver sort of thing where you automatically can just move like one third of your move. You'll lose all your actions, you know. Uh, tumble is kind of the same in this case, but um, tumble will give you four to your armor, but you, you got to roll it. If you don't roll it, you just slip and fall and you're there. If you do the fallback, you definitely get to move. But you, okay, you so need to move behind one of your party members to get, otherwise he'll just follow you. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. So, or at least the tumbling part. So I'll, uh, do I have to just initiate the skill or how do I do this? Yeah, the tumble skill, just click on it and it should pop up a, a window and you just roll it. You can do that out in the open. I already went blind GM, sorry about that. That's all right, I can reveal it. You successfully tumble. Uh, you can move uh, up to uh, 20 feet away. All right. And done. And then, in turn, there we go. Blackmouth is going to move his thing. Yeah, we're going to crash the flaming spear straight into Hill Giant 28. I'm going to move the light globe up there, and then you move the thing. Use control. Yeah, to... Oh, you can't. <laughs> What's the, the, the range it can move? How far? 30, can move? 30 feet. Okay, so that's only 10. And then... Uh, now you do all the other stuff. You, know, you got to click that spell again, like we, uh, we were all that stuff that showed up last time. So I don't I, remember all the stuff. This is something it, I'm going to leave says that, It says that I just bump it into him, and then he's got to save versus spell or take 2d8. Okay. Uh, do and, the target him so. again and use the save versus spell uh, button on the spell. That's the fire giant. You don't want the fire giant. You want the heal giant. There you go. Thank you. Uh, he failed, so give him the 2d4 damage of fire from the same spell. There we go. Now we got and it. And then if there was anybody standing around 
They would they take, could one take to four, the, huh? the one to four, but there's nobody, so we're good. Right. Yeah. All right, it's a Finfall. All right, well, since Sir Finfall doesn't want to get anywhere near that fireball, near the giant, the fireball, he's yeah. Gonna, yeah, he's going to move down to attack this other hill giant, so. Okay. Just take one little step. Space bar isn't working. It's left. Oh, I can't tell you how to do space bar on Mac, man. I'm sorry. I don't know what space bar is on Mac. Space <laughs> <laughs> bar, gentlemen. It's actually yeah. underneath the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, ma- you gotta push it from under. Yeah. You gotta put your thumbs under the keyboard and hold it, kind of grip it. <laughs> there. How That's about a that squeeze bar, bar. Oh, hilarious. That's it. All right, Jason. I'm going to move up and attack this hill giant that's fighting with Drog and Finfall. Alrighty. You are worried, Elven Boots, so you're probably pretty quiet. So go ahead and make your back attack. Give yourself plus four to your attack when you do so. That oh, is there a goes hit. Five of me? Oops. That's all right. I can fix that. You definitely hit him. Now, when you do your damage, do the multiplier for whatever you get at your level. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, you do. Oh, wow. Yeah, now we're moving Biz and our intern and then removing Biz. We can go to Jaw. Bill, when did you sneak in here? Oh, about 9.30. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I just I noticed. Sam, yeah. yeah. I need him. And I was, I was sorry, I'm late, man. I was, uh, sorry? I had, I was, pri- I was priming Narsal, so I, uh, or my model of Narsal, and I made a mess, so I had to clean up. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. Uh, let me get uh, Bill in here. Uh, let's see. Go ahead, Jolomon. I'm just figuring out how, if I can move this far. I think I can. All right. Is that a charge? No, just a regular okay. move. All righty. In turn to... Oh, uh, was that less than your half your move? Yeah, yeah, that was less than half. Okay, okay, good, good. That is a hit. Oh, are you using the, uh, you are using the plus three spear? Using the new sword. Oh, new look at that. Yeah, nice. A plus three spear. All right, Gunther. Give us, give us the smack down with the hammer again. Don't miss. Hammer time. Oh, that yeah. is a hit. And do the damage giants. There you go. Nine damage. A three, a one, and a two. Man. All right. Uh, Hill Giant is wishing he can run, but really can't, so he's just gonna... We got three targets. Three, three, that is gonna be Sir Finfall. And miss. Uh, this one... I'm gonna move to here to get away from the fire and smash Jolin with this club. That's a hit. Just That's please. not a hit. Yeah, you know, I meant to get in there and add a sound so it triggers, gives me an audible thing when that happens. For that, mirror image and stone skin and uh, interrupts for spells, but Drog. Okay, Drog is laying down the X. Yeah, go ahead and do it twice because you guys are the last two people to go this round. Same with Archie unless he moves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, that would be the end of his okay. turn. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So future end of your turn. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get Archie to move this time. Okay. So does it take extra time for him to get off of the table, or can I just count that as part of his move? You can just count as part of it. He can jump down. He's a ranger. He's he's able to do that. Now there, my space bar worked again. You can make a single shot. You didn't move more than. Okay. That's it. All right. Damn, 13 with an arrow. Yeah, you can see that last plus two is because he's within a uh, certain range. And I need to screenshot that because it says effect undefined uh, target distance. <laughs> yeah, I'll need to fix that. That text is just from variables converted to strings, so it has the thing to show up. All right, uh, Bill, you are at the end of the round. Um, I'm yeah. going to just manually roll it so you can just use your initiative for whatever it is you want. We'll assume you knew what you were going to do. What do you want to do? Uh, I was going to throw darts. Um, hold on a second. Oh, there it goes. All right. 
<clears throat> Let's see. Yo. Ouch. Yeah, that was at max range. That's going to be a hard target. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I missed them all, right? Yep. All right. Very good. In turn. Um, wait a minute. How do I do that? Where did the button it's go? It's either on that combat tracker or on your HUD. There's a end mm. uh, turn button. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. There is only one giant left. He is hollering something in giantish. He has been since the end of the last round. Does anybody speak giantish? I wonder if he's trying to surrender. <laughs> yeah. I think I do. I do not know. Oh, I hear doors opening, though. Oh, yeah. He's yelling at some reinforcements. <laughs> oh, door. All right. Well, I'll attack. Um, oh, yeah, there's fire there, dude. It's a three foot radius, so I don't know. Uh, if you were standing next to it, you will get burned. Yeah, don't okay. touch it. So you're, so, you're touching the square it's in, so you would get burned if you stayed I'd have to go one more, right? Yes. Is is that too far for my, uh, for attacking? Let's see. It's 25, 25 feet. feet. Now, honest, uh, actually, just passing it is going to cause damage to you. Oh, you technically okay. should have to go all the way around it. Then, all right, then I would probably know that, right? Not, well, shit. I mean, you get close to it, it's going to be hot. It's going to be like an oven. Yeah. Um, so I, I would say you would, could be smart enough. I mean, if you want to just take the D4 damage and rush I'll through it, that's it. up to you. I'm just, just going to take it, yeah. Someone attack this guy. All right. Get it. All right, bite mouth, target him, do your spell, and uh, give him 1D4 fire damage. Yeah, maybe he'll, maybe he'll save. There is no save on the stand next to it, though. Uh, I don't think so, anyways. Let me look. <laughs> Max damage. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't say there's a save for standing next to it. All right, do your thing now. Oh, Don't wait, worry. wait, Mike. It does say those within five feet must also save or suffer 1d4. Oh, well, give him, give him, make the, him save, and then if he saves, I'll undo it. Okay. I didn't see that. It's not highlighted like the other one. You did not. Okay, well, at least we tried. Uh, right, I've got myself targeted again, or something. Oh, the yeah. old, the old, yeah, I got it. You so I got have the, black mouth targeted. Okay. No, I got the uh, old fire giant targeted, right? Oh, I guess I do. Uh, hold on. Oh no, let's see. Uh, we have the hill giant. I did hit the hill giant. The fire giant. Yeah. So, whenever you are targeting, how are you targeting these guys? I'm holding over, and then I'm hitting shift. Over. Over. What that is over? Covering it. Oh, okay. And then you're hitting T, so it should, unless you're holding shift also, it should untarget the last thing you have targeted. So if you mouse over and T, you'll see like the, the, uh, you know, that ring around it with a little, like a scope in a game, video yeah. game or something. Does it show it on? Yeah, don't okay, hit shift. Yeah. Now don't That's hit shift, point. it'll untarget your last one. Okay. Cool. All right. I got it. So yeah. we'll, we'll assume the last one is still good. Uh, it did hit and uh, roll damage. This is, won't be a backstab or anything because you're not invisible or anything. He's on fire. <laughs> Five damage. Awesome. Hello. Okay, Poku with a spear. Or not. All right, Gonzi. You're within range. You don't need to move. That hammer will go 180, 18, squ 18 squares, or, you know, 180 feet. Okay. Or maybe 160. Whatever it is, you're well within range from where you're standing. No. <laughs> 18. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, took him out with a hammer. All right. So, um, however, whenever that giant dies, this door opens um, and you can see uh, some creatures come rushing out. Bug bears. Oh, they're so dead. It seems that they were alerted to your presence by the loud scream of the giant. All right, Tim. Okay, flaming sphere. Uh, what is my range here? 10, 10 yards. I think you can cast it within, you know. Yeah, you gotta drop really it close. within a couple of squares of you, then you roll it around. Yeah. yeah. Right, so it's like about 30 feet or so. 
Yeah, I can now type in the the light thing on that. I don't get what's going on there. Um. Oh, I still had the tar giant target. Oops. Uh, don't worry about it. There's nothing to say for because you're just casting the spell. Right. Right. Uh, then so in effect. Uh, you cast it. I will put it here. Uh, yeah. And then put the effect on yourself. Target yourself. Put that on yourself. And then I'm gonna name. I'm gonna put a name on this to uh, you, so I don't know who's this who's. Tim. Because there's two of them now. And I will also make yours give a light if it will let me. Yes, it will. Uh, let's see if we can change it a little dimmer. Do the same thing to the other one. Nice. I'll change the light color to on yours to reddish. Let's see if I can do animation. Give me a torch flickering light. There we go. Alright, so one is red and one is yellow. Alright, 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 alright. We've got everything done. We're on Dead Hill Giant. Why are we on Dead Hill Giant? We should, he should I don't, be in there. No. Yeah, yeah it's, it's supposed to skip them, I think. It's He's not. still bleeding out. You know what? Maybe that. Uh, maybe that's why. I skipped a few. It, it didn't. All right, it's a simple. All right, so this table to the right. I mean, how tall is it? Can I go under it without having to crawl? Mm -hmm. You'll need to duck. You know, your your you will your movement will be cut to one third going underneath it. All right, he's not going to hunch any... over and drag your equipment and everything through it. Yeah, there's no way he's going to go through those fireballs. No. Uh, and I can't go over the dead one, right? Uh, you can spin around climbing over him. Or you could run around and then jump on the bench and run across the bench and... Just take half uh, Let's see, Just this 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 kind of thing right here is... This would be your entire 65. move. Uh, okay. That would be your entire right. move because you're, you're running around and you're going across the bench, which is going to be... You're going to have to jump on it. It's not as high as the table. But, you know, it's still something yeah. that's tall for you because you're not a giant. And you just oh, run across fire... the bench and then jump down the bottom. All you right. Want to do that? Block. Yeah, with the fireballs blocking my way, that's the only way I can go. Okay. I will put you there and you can intern. Thank you, sir. All right. So, with since you are moving to them, he is going to step here and swing at you with his... Or stab at you with his spear. I missed. These guys, I haven't... Uh, Blackmouth is going to move your fire. Uh, if you're driving, yeah, and have him split the distance between Archie and Delwar, kind of, you know, go. How far? Go right, right, where's your right end there. target? Where's your end target? Where do you want that uh, at the end? That one, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's not where I want. That's, that's 30 feet. It's right at that's the edge perfect. of him. Okay. Perfect. And then I'm going to target him and see if he saves. Okay. He did. Um, when I roll damage, do I need to half it, or does uh, it do does that it automatically? Take half damage. Oh no, they save, save or they suffer, take. so he takes nothing. Right. Okay, that's it. Okay. In turn, uh, this guy is going to move in. Uh, he's moving to here. Um, he is going to be within five feet of the thing. So target him, the one that I just moved, Jeff. Got it. And do fire save, a save, and then if he doesn't save, give him the one d four damage. He did not give him one d four damage. Oof, you couldn't roll it. Oh man, he's not gonna get his attack because he's been moving. And this guy gonna move to there, and he'll get his attack next round. They've been moving, so. All right, Jason. Okay, I'm gonna move over. I'm gonna move up onto this cable. Okay. Spacebar. It's, it's paused. Oh, sorry. God dang it. I don't know why I did that. All right. There we go. All right. I'm just going to lay on this table. Yeah, that's going to be your entire move because you're having to climb up that really tall table. So, all right, Drog. All right, Drog's going to go for Bugbear 57. Let's see how far he can go. That was 20 feet. Can he still get one hit? If that's less than half your move, yeah. Yeah, that's less than half, yeah. Okay. That is it. That's going to kill him. Oh, max damage. Okay, so he takes the opportunity to taunt to the rest of the bugbears in Goblin that 
You're next, MFR. <laughs> does he giggle uh, like that afterwards too? I love he it. does. He does. <laughs> he says it's on. Well, this one really doesn't want to move through the fire. He's going to go over here and come back to fight Sir Finthal. Have his attack next round. This one hasn't moved yet. Uh, so let's see. Nope, they can't be on the table. That is on the table. We'll just, uh, he'll be there. So we can decide that next round. Uh, this one's just going to attack Sir Finfall because he's standing right there and he's not having to move for that. Let's miss. Uh, this one is on fire, so he is going to rush Archie. That's all he can do this round. Archie. Huh. Can I shoot that guy that rushed me? Uh, he is in your face, so probably not a good idea to shoot a guy with probably a bow not a good idea. in your face. Yeah. Crap. So uh, he's going to have to defend himself. Uh, he'll have to switch weapons. Okay. So he can't do anything if he switches weapons right now, right? Uh, if he drops it to the ground, he can swing with his sword. If he wants to drop his bow. Can he retreat? It's... Oh, that's a pussy. Is, mm -hmm. But if he retreats, he, jump on the he table can still or follow you. He can still follow him because he, the guy still has left. Can he tumble out up on top of the table? Again, he can, but the thing can still follow because there's nobody between him and... Oh, so there's nobody to tumble behind. You would need to move far enough to be behind somebody. Yeah. Maybe if you get him up on the table, Tim's fireball can get him come behind Drog, maybe. Time. Can yeah. he get behind Drog? Yeah. I mean, you could do, you could, if you wanted to really just fall back, just fall back over to here, and then this guy will stop right next to Drog. All right. Yeah, let me, let me pull him back. Not drop his weapon, but pull back. I mean, it's just a bugbear, right? Well, I mean, I could drop the arrows and just attack. I'm just going to drop the bow and, and attack him. So I'm going to okay. drop, pull the sword and attack. All right, go for it. Drug's going to turn around and take his head off anyway. Yeah, he's he's not going to be here. He missed. All right. All righty, in turn. So now it's my turn. You hear the thud, thud, thud of large feet behind you. And from this door over here, you can see a giant come barreling through. Straight uh, at Archie. He's got should have retreated. <laughs> his uh he's got a giant battle axe. He is hunchback and twisted. He has one good eye, the other is gone. He looks thoroughly evil, wicked, and remorseless. Behind him also comes these creatures that you guys have probably never seen before. Oh, the flying monkeys. I told you, man. These are not fun monkeys. These are big, muscle-bound looking creatures. Does he have a turquoise earring? No, that's just another dot on them. That's just Dawn uh, mousing over him. Uh, but this thing is going to move to here. This one easily swings across the table and moves to Archie. And the giant oh. moves towards Archie. So Archie's going to get swung at twice, at least. So we'll start with the hill giant. The hill giant is going to use the battle axe. Uh, don't roll initiative, please. That's what happens when they show up late to the party. All right, now we can get him. Uh, giant battle axe swinging at Archie. Oh, he hits. Oh. Yeah, what's the minus four for? Oh. And giant killer stuff. All right. Um, damage. Here comes the hammer or the axe. 17 mm. damage. And the muscle bound creature is going to attack with both fists and attempt to bite you. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Ouch. hit. Another hit. And that means the bite's going to land without a roll for a whopping one damage. The other ape is going to attack Drog. Oops. I did damage. Let me see if that actually hits first. Of course not. Uh, second attack. That definitely hits. 
And then a bite. He's got a roll to hit. And he misses. Alrighty. Bill, you might be able to send your sphere under the table. Just as a thought. Okay. Depends on how tall it is. If you need to run it behind Drog to get up, don't worry about it. It's just 1d4. That's a shit ton of dice. Yeah, what is going on? Look at all the monsters going into the initiative. <laughs> They're like a bugbear army, dude. <laughs> wow. Anybody got a fireball? <laughs> we might need it. Do you have to do them all one at a time because they came in late? Uh, I could have. If I had put them in before the round, the new round started, it wouldn't. It would have done them automatically. Um, I'm doing this uh, as they move in, though. So let's see. Where's this? That happened. <laughs> that happened to me. Is in on? Yeah. They were fighting like um, I don't know, 25 lizard men, and I added a second group in the middle of the fight, and I had to roll all their initiative one at a time. Yeah, if you put them in right at the uh, start before or before the round re-rolled, it would have rolled for them. All right, all right Blackmouth. Okay, Blackmouth has got a really nice pocket that he's going to throw that sphere into. So I want him to roll straight into the east and bump up into 163 and then see if we can get an AOE effect on the rest yeah, of them. Yeah, nice spot. All right, so target all of them. Uh, anything is uh, this one too as well because he's touching the square so just target all of those and make them all safe uh, actually do do the one that you ran okay, into the the on do... is that a cool uh, 163 okay he failed to f- uh, full damage and then uh, okay now the rest of them I target all of them and do a save and then do the 1d4 is that right yep yeah okay. Just, the thing is, is I don't know if it's going to remove your targets from the ones that save, so I'll watch and see what happens. Looks good. Yeah, it doesn't remove them, uh, so one of them succeeded. You want me to just one take four, off? Uh, 149. I can figure out who 149 uh, it's is. this one right here. Now, let me uh, edit that spell while I'm thinking about it. But yeah, go ahead and do damage to the rest. He's the only one that saved. Nice. Okay, very good. Sorry, I'm fixing this spell while I'm thinking about it. Edit, edit, edit. And Tim, um, if you need to roll that on the backside of Drog, don't worry about it. You can get it up there and right. <laughs> get it between those other guys, you know. Yeah, Archie might be the unlucky guy because um, if I send it straight, we're like well, that. You... So uh, I want to, uh, you, I want uh, Blackmouth and Tim, both of you guys, I want you to go to your spell tab, the one with the book. Yeah. Yep. And at the top right, do that synchronize own spells with whatever. And that should fix a uh, flaming sphere. I just fixed the one in the world, uh, or the, the one in the compendium, but that should fix it for, uh, for you. Next next time we do this. Hey, ah. it, um, it, it also wants to update Death Puck. There's a world you version and a My Items one. version. Yeah. No. I don't know which matters. Uh, either, world, probably. Uh, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Yeah. It's probably because I've stuck it in the world so you could see it or something. But yeah. Just pick one, and if it's not right, we can fix it later. All right. Uh, that's in case there's two versions of Fireball or some spell. Uh, Tim, yeah, what, where, do you, where do you want him to go? You'll have to ping it because it's an NPC and I have to control it. So you tell me where you want to put it. Can you see my roller? Uh, I can see your. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just ping, ping where you want it. You want it here? He wants it uh, north of that bugbear. Uh, to do that, you can't roll it through one, but you can roll it around it. But thirty feet is that's more than thirty feet. And if you want to hit him, you got to roll it into him. Let's see. So that would be here. If you just want to nick him, you yeah, but it'll to... stop right next to Archie if I do that. Yes, it will. So it's going to go here. Do you want to go between them? All right. So it's going to be within five feet. Uh, yeah, it's gonna. So we're gonna need Bugbear 128. Uh, this thing, and Drog all three to make uh, target them all. And then make them all safe. And I still have five feet of movement, so can I actually make it go like that? Down? Um, sure. Perfect. Just say, Perfect. Say you weren't, so don't target him right now. Target the other two guys, because we won't target the other two guys. Two, actually, which is target Drog them all. And the, okay. We'll, we'll do them all at once, and, and then we'll... 
And then make them do the save, and hopefully it'll untarget the ones that save. We'll see. Don't do the cast, dude. Yeah, you got it. Uh, they all fail, failed. so it doesn't matter. Uh, so you're going to need to untarget 128 because he does 2d4. Um, but the other two you can use the 1d4 damage for. There we go. It wasn't let me untarget. Hold on. Drogs hung out with Blackmouth long enough not to get pissed off when a wizard burns you a little bit. <laughs> it happens. Now just don't burn uh, Sir Finfall. Yeah, will not don't appreciate do that. It. Yeah, Finfall's not as cool about it. <laughs> Okay, so what are we looking at? Finfall's half that. his face is melted off by fire, so there's a reason. Damage one d four. Uh, yes, for these guys. All right. Do I, now do target I the other guy okay, and good. do who do two d four. There we go. Nice. That worked out well. Just one yeah, point yeah. of damage. All right, uh, and then in turn, this guy is gonna. Move. He's going to move to here. It was less than half his move. He has a spear that he's going to use to attack Sir Finfall because he can do that. Uh oh, more doors are opening. A lot of bugbears, dude. Your turn, gentlemen. Uh, we'll move up and attack uh this bugbear up here. Go for it. That sounds like a hit, sir. Sweet. Oh man. Look at that carousel at the top. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's one thing I don't like about it because it's showing things that you guys shouldn't be seeing. I went through all this trouble to code so you wouldn't be able to see things like that. But yeah, for now, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it because I like the carousel. But I may end up. Blackmouth is disappointed because there's really not very good magical reagents to be harvested off a of bugbear. But, but the giants are good. That's a hit. Nice. All right, I'm going to move up and attack one of these bugbears that's on Finfall. Okay. I'll probably have to get off the table, I'm guessing. Um, If you're going to stab something, yeah, unless they're giants. Nope, I'm going to try and stab a bugbear. Okay. My rolls are all defaulting to blind GM act every time. Turn off blind GM rolls on the bottom right. That's it. Get some. It's too bad these things aren't less than a hit die. Ha <laughs> ha Took one out. Right, where is this guy? Remove the piece from the field. This one's going to attack Delwar. Come on. Man, there's so many of these suckers. We'll help you out with that. I'm sure you will. Oh, finally. Get to do something meaningful. Smash somebody! Uh, uh, let's see. Let's go for Archie again. With Lebedalex. Oof. Oh, ow. Yeah, 21 down. Egg nabbit. And the ape thingy is going to attack dog again. One, one hit, one miss. We'll do the bite. Bite, bite, bite misses. And the other one is going to attack Archie. Because he's the only one in the way. Punch, punch. Bite. Uh, bite it. Before. Mm. All right, Archie. What are you doing? Fall back behind me is what I recommend. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Tumble out. I'll tumble back. out. Don't go too far because I'm going to try and use the staff of uh, curing on you next okay. round. I'm going to have to leave my bow behind though now because yep. I stupidly dropped, dropped it. it. I, I learned. I should have learned that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to move. Beautiful. I'm going to try to. Tumble back or disengage or whatever. You don't have tumble uh, as a skill, but you can fall back. You can move up to a third of your move base to wherever it is you want. Now, gentleman did say he was going to try to use the staff on, but that's you still will be close to combat if you do that. So just you do what you want to do. That's the combat situation. You'll need to end up behind somebody. Would that be behind somebody? Yeah. I think what he's saying is that if they go before you next round, they'll probably be able yeah, to maneuver around me. Yeah. Yep. 
All right. Uh, we'll stop right there. I should have done something different. I knew what I could do, but oh crap! All yeah, right, that's your fall. Uh, okay, I'm gonna attack this guy to my north. Okay. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Good shot. Okay. Knock him out in one shot. In turn, please. I'm gonna. Well, I don't get. Yeah, I get. To, I have to end. Okay. All right. Oh uh, well, my bugbear has one hit point left, probably. He's only got. Yeah, we'll see what it does. He definitely runs. Uh, so, uh, Sir Finval, make a attack against this one if you wish. He is fleeing yes. from the fire. He is on fire. Absolutely. I will attack it. Okay. Get plus two to hit. Not that you need it. Yeah. Do that. Right. It's coming. Uh, draw. Draw. Okay, this damn dirty ape is done for. All right, we'll see how that goes. Get your hands off me. Okay, uh, next attack is at the end, right? Yep. Uh, oh, there was one stacked there. Let me get clean these out, because yeah, this one's... Wait a minute. I thought he was dead. He is dead. Why is he not showing dead? He's dead. I think I, my negative 10 hit point thing is he's kind of messed up in PCs. All right, don't worry. God. Right, so I'm going to target the hill giant, the gnarly hill giant, and cast Phantasmal Force on him. And since he's missing one eye, uh, it's going to be the image of a, like an ice pick going for his other eye. That's going to be the Phantasmal (laughs) Killer. Oh, I like it. That's nice. Alrighty, good. I think you get to save, right? Like based on intelligence and all that nonsense? Yeah, it looks like it, so I'm going to cast it. Um, so I cast it and then save, or just save first? Right, but doesn't it have, like, some special things for... Uh, let me look at the details. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's got a negative two if they're surprised. It's normal if they're not surprised. And then, like, plus one if they've got a high intelligence, and then plus two for a couple other things. I don't think he may have, but, yeah, it's in there. But you are an illusionist. Why is it saying oh, yeah. that he gets plus two to save versus it? That seems like... No, if, I, if, if I'm casting it against an illusionist, then they <gasps> oh, get plus okay, two Okay, got, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, and no it should be for intelligence. Well, him casting an illusion spell, the guy should have a minus one penalty on the save because he is an illusionist. It's a minus one for every one levels of the caster, too. That's what I was looking for. Oh, uh, every level. Oh, sweet. Every four levels. So what is... Uh, yeah, let me... I'm going to make a note to fix that instead of doing that right now. But, uh, fan. Don't... Uh, well, we'll need to look at that because you, you uh, rolled before I was ready. But yeah, oh, you I'm rolled so three and made it by 13, so more than likely it's not going to matter. Okay. Uh, save needs to be adjusted for mother fire per four levels. I want to make it to where this is automated so you don't have to mess with it. But um, in future, what we need to do is we need, because you are a level seven illusionist, which would be minus two. No, minus one. So he would add a minus one on top of the other minuses as well. So um, the total for you being an illusionist and it being an illusion spell and you being, uh, if you hit eighth level, he would be at minus two on top of that. Um, if you read that uh, thing where it says yeah. you get minus one per. So, but he saved. Uh, doesn't do anything on save, right? Uh, I guess not. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, and if the subject ignores him and put another action, get a bonus that sets spells to room for. Yeah. I'll read it to make sure. Uh, I don't think it does anything if they do save. Uh, the beast attacks is. Uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Only the spell respect. Yeah. It's got a hit. But if the. But if it succeeds in scoring a hit, the subject dies from fire. Oh, so if he if he had, um, I don't remember using this spell ever. But so if if the, he hadn't have saved, uh, then you would have just uh, rolled attacks each round, and then once it hit him, uh, he would fall over dead. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So good to know. All right, uh, we can turn. 
Man, this is, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to read this because this one, I think I missed something on this. I'll try it again later. But yeah, I'm okay. Sure. Well, read it. And if something important comes up, you know, on the save part or something like that, let me know. I didn't turn. You got a question, Eric? Yeah, isn't the bugbear north of me dead? Yeah, I don't know why they're living. I'm deleting them whenever they come up, so. Cool. I don't know what's what happened. It's probably my negative 10 hit point thing that I had for PCs, but I don't know. Uh, but this one is still alive, so he's going to attack Jason with a spear and hits. Uh-oh. And does four damage. Drog, this is your second attack, yeah? Yeah. Oh, man. Damn dirty ape. Kill my damn dirty ape. Uh, what's all those dice? What? Huh? What's all what dice? <laughs> More reinforcements. Is this round ever gonna end? No. It's not. Not if he keeps adding bugbears. Well, you guys keep waking him up, man. These guys were happily sleeping their their lives away, and you came in here and you started a fight and knocked up some dirt. And what do you expect them to do? Run in fear. Uh, probably die, but they can run if they want. Oh man, Black Mountain Spartan starting to giggle. All those enemies clumped up with no allies close by. <laughs> yeah, my fire giants and my giants aren't the ones popping back up alive, so that was weird. That was a lot of dice. <laughs> All right, looks like everybody's roll initiative. Our uh, wild ape. He's gonna leap down to here, and but he's targeting uh, the druid with a fist, another fist, and then a bite, which hits over seven damage. Gentlemen, staff of curing on Archie. Okay. Actually, hold on. Last time we played, you I didn't use it the last time. Oh, okay. Good. I haven't used it since we rested. Uh, what, since we rested. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. I don't have a really easy way to track it because that item is so fucking weird. I mean, I say that it should track being used twice per day. So, if it how weird work, was well, it? Fucking weird. <laughs> it is a snowflake. It's like everything in D and D. There's like always the exception to the rule. <laughs> it's kind of a pain. Alrighty, Delwar. All right, I'm just casting invisibility on myself. And there he goes. Enter. Oh, Drog. Well, Drog is going to step over and hit that ape. That is a hit, sir. By 11. Oof. Defend fall. Okay, I'm going to step up one north and attack that guy up above me. Okay. You can feel the heat of the uh, flaming sphere to your west. Yeah, we need to talk about that at some point and try to decide some percentages that I can use to determine <laughs> whether I run like a girl or not. Up to you, man. That is a hit. Didn't kill it? Nope, apparently not. Okay, sorry. Hold on. I'm looking for something. There he is. All right. Definitely get some attack at the end of this round. What a spear that he's charging with. And I didn't give him plus two, so that hits. I should put the effect of charge on him, but I did not. Let me do that now while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Let's do see. He isn't charging. He's just moving. Ooh. This one's charging here with a spear to stab Black Mouth. He gets plus two on this. Not that he needs it. Uh, maybe he does. Oh, it missed by zero. Oh, stone skin. Dirty dog. Would he have hit otherwise? Uh, it doesn't matter. Stone skin automatically does its thing, but he missed by zero, which means he hit. So, yeah. Okay, stone skin did the job. Nice. Yep, it did. All right, Mr. Blackmouth. Okay, Blackmouth was casting Fireball. That, and the the sphere will just sit there and AOE. It will and expire, yeah. Year. Well, no, it actually sits there till the end of its duration. Right. It's just it he's just not expire. driving it. Yeah, right. Yeah. It'll just expire. Where are you putting the fireball? I'm placing the template. Yeah, you going down the hall? Where are you going? 
I see. Right there. Do I, I cast it the, and then save, right? You're gonna hit the two guys that you can see? No, no, no. I can see the three down the hall too, because remember Tim's continual light. Yeah, but when I target you, you can't see them. Tim can't even see them. I can see him. Oh uh, yeah, you're you're an elf. He's human. Yeah, but but neither Tim or Blackmouth can see either one of those guys. When I target Blackmouth, he can't see them for me. Yeah, that's weird. Because I it can see. Like, it looks like Tim's disco ball is going that far. It goes to this right here. That's where the light stops, so you can't see things past them. So when I target you guys, I can see what you guys can see. And neither one of them can see that. Now, you can go ahead and do it there, and we'll just say you see shadows of them because it's right at the edge of your, your vision. Yeah, stuff, let's just right? hope it does something. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, that did the save, so now I need to roll the damage, right? Yep. It might be, Mike, that I'm switching between Drog and Blackmouth. In chorus. Oh, I think that uh, does it. It's because you were seeing yeah. through. When you selected Drog, you see through Drog. When you select through Blackmouth, you see through Blackmouth. So if you're clicking on Drog and selecting stuff with Blackmouth, uh, you, you, you can't unsee kind of, it. So. It does. It, no, it you does can't. I'm, you I'm can't it unsee with it. Ben Paul and Archie. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yep. You need, you, you'll need to just pretend that you can't see them with black mouth. <laughs> what I've noticed just, with Archie is that it shows what I can see through Archie's eyes a little bit brighter than everything else that's already been exposed. It's because Archie probably has InfraVision or something, and it looks black and white. Probably, I can't remember. something. Like yeah, that. I just assumed, I mean, I didn't think much about it because I knew that Tim's continual light was right there, and I was like, oh, they're on the edge of the light, so that's cool. I didn't even think about it, it was Drog doing it. So. Yeah, it was Drog's vision. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, where's my guy? So, you can go ahead and remove the template while you're at it, please. Okay. Hey, Mike, when you get a chance one of these days, you should, why don't we read Phantasmal Killer again, because I think it's, it's really worded funny. Yeah, when I read it, it looks like it's supposed to create a creature that moves over and attacks the thing, and then once it hits the thing, then the thing gets to save. Right. Die. Yeah. That's that's how I'm reading it too. Okay, when we come back to you, we'll look at it. Uh, Tim, you are moving okay. your flaming sphere. Yep, right here. You want to move it right into him? Bam. Make him save. He does not. Give him 2d8 or 2d4. Finish him. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, almost. Only been hit. he's only been hit once, so. but almost max. Yeah, good, good roll. Hey, Mike, should we have done the fire on the bugbears up next to the other sphere? Uh, we'll worry about it when I get to them. Uh, okay, Tim, if you are done, hit in turn, please. Uh, hold on. There we go. All right, Gunther, four damage. Jason. All right, I'll target this uh, bugbear next to the dead one. Okay. And attack him. That sounds like a hit oh, to yeah. me. Uh, you have a situation modifier plus four, actually, that's not supposed to be there. But you hit by oh, two, do. it don't matter. You hit oh, by I'll two, take so, that. Yeah, don't okay. worry about it. Just next time, uh, just make sure okay. you do that. Because it'll save your situation modifiers. Got it. Oh, man. I'm going to remove these two bodies. And we are on to this guy. This guy is just going to swing at Sir Finfall. Oh! <laughs> he made a finally landed a hit <laughs> for three damage. Rude. Uh, this one is already on fire. I'm just going to run through it. Yeah. So I need you to. Uh, who's got the fire? I can do this. I yeah, I, this I can one. do it if you want. Those both uh, of those two. Those, those two up top, yeah. Save right. Yep, do save for both. They both didn't save. Give, uh, uh, yeah, give them both uh, D4s. I'm almost saying you could do the one north would be a 2D4, but we'll do that. All right, so now okay, he it. can run. He's just going to run down here because he sees the guys in the robes. Uh, so Does Archie get a opportunity attack because he ran by him? Uh, I don't think he ran by him. I think he ran this way. I'll show you where he runs. 
goes right by Archie, doesn't it? And not technically within the square next to him. Not technically? I don't know. It hit the square. I mean, uh, actually, Delwar's there, too. <laughs> he I ran can't right. see Delwar. Yeah, Delwar, do you want to swing at the guy when he runs by? In fact, I would let you get a backstab on him. Did he backstab him? Oh, that'd yeah. be cool. Do you want to try that? Absolutely, I do. All right, I'm going to put him back to here because he does run right through you, by you. So you'll get plus six because he's running and you're backstabbing. So plus six to hit on the situation I'm on the farm. And he's smoldering. Actually, I don't. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want to do it. I, I, I you want to save your invis? I, I want to save the invis, so I'm going to go gotcha. for that, that giant with that. I, yeah. All right. So I'm just going to put him right here. All right, so this one, Bugbear 99. That's, there's a lot of Bugbears. Uh, that's the name of my punk band. There's a lot of Bugbears? That's awesome. <laughs> no, Punk Bear 99. Bugbear 99. <laughs> <laughs> Opening for Blink-182. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one also is going to run... Here, yeah, they're all closing in on the, oh, the robe guys. On the casters, yeah, yeah, they don't like the caster guys. This one, I should have taken that hit. This one's gonna move to this where this guy's body is, and I may remove it so I can see what I'm doing here. Wait, where's this guy? Nope, that's it. This one's next to the fire. We've already burned him. He will run to here and attack Archie with a spear. Can Drog hit him? Uh, when it's your turn, yeah, but he didn't run past you. Okay. I think that's as far as he can move. Yeah. God, there's four of them. Finally, the hill giant gets to do something. He is going to kick the bench a little bit, just so he can get near nearer Jolomon and swing at him with his battle axe. This is probably... That's Ooh, displaced. Yeah. He should displace unless he saw me displace earlier, but I don't think he was in the room. It's per, it's per ca- person. It's no, it's per. It, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know what the rules it. are, but I know what the 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 way the mechanics are set up. <laughs> if if oh, I'm I standing around know. you, it's not mechanically going to displace it. I mean, it will displace it based on a new person. It doesn't work like the way the rules say it. But I understand what you're saying. What it's supposed to do. But I didn't code it then, anyway. I? Uh, this guy. Only because it's uh, I, it's very difficult to code based on vision. That is 120 exactly. And he can't move there because Delwar is there, so I'll put him there. All right, Archie. Oh, he's just surrounded. So yeah. I'm going to swing at the ape guy. Paused. It's okay. He's not moving. Oh, wait, I had it. A- Situational modifier still on there. Sorry. Well, miss. So did that? Uh, did that did you minus plus two? two. Oh yeah, it, you you hit right on, so you wouldn't have you okay. wouldn't have hit him without right. that. So you missed. All right. And drug. Drug's gonna take this ape down. A rare miss from the dwarf warrior. Bummer. Indeed. Alrighty, guys. Uh, Tim, you are general action, so. What do you want to do? Phew. <laughs> uh, um, I guess I'm going to... Uh, well, the character's probably going to die. Um, I'm going to crash that flaming sphere into that giant one more time. All right. Make him save. He does not. Nice. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Nice. Oh, it's good damage. Damn. My gentleman, now you can go. Put it with my spear. Go for it. That's uh, my sir. Hi, right, Delwar. So uh, what I want you to do, we, we talked about this. I don't have, what I need to do is set up a little thing like I do for the Flaming Sphere guys, but I don't have it. So I'm not going to worry about it. What I need you to do is roll a d20, and your Thaco is 16. And tell me what AC that hits when you roll. Uh, so that is negative, what's three? 
Yep. Whatever it is, it hits. So we know he saves the first time because we that was we already rolled the first save. So this round, blam, the thing hits him. Your your phantasmal creature struck the guy, and he is able to fend off the instant death thing from saving. So cool. All right, but I and do And this get is that. this is this is the third round. So I need you to keep track because we didn't put the effect on you or anything like that. In fact, I need to make a note to look. Um, I should put the effect on him, right? Or on me? Uh, uh, does it have one? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't put it on there now because we've already, you know, burned through three rounds. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be okay. accurate anymore, so. All right. We just need to keep track of it. So the duration I, is one round a level, right? Yep. And he has seven rounds, so we've used three. So he's get four more rounds. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. So round eleven, it will go away if if he hasn't disbelieved or you've killed him. All okay. right. So this is my now. It's my regular turn, right? Uh, I don't know. Do you have to keep concentration on it? Uh, ooh, but where where's that say? It doesn't uh, say. It doesn't say. <laughs> I don't think so, Mike. It looks. I like, would say it no. looks like you cast it, and it's in the creature's mind. Yep. And it just plays out. Once cast, it ex, ex inexorably. I can't even say that word. Inexorably. This yeah, is Gygaxian verb. <laughs> <laughs> Speak elder Gygax. The only defense is going to. I didn't. Magic resist, but if any spell where it comes, resistant. If the subject phantasm subject ignores spells such a yeah. It doesn't say you need to keep concentration, so yeah, I guess you could do it. It's a fire and forget thing. Alright. Like a summoned elemental that only it can see. It's kinda how I would think of it. So what it's a brain mean? elemental. Keep yeah. in mind there's a fireball right there that'll burn your ass when you run by it. Just a little burn. You will need to completely go around. To, yeah. Uh, if you want to know where you can go, you could go here, here, here. To completely avoid it would be that. Uh, that. I'm trying to. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to get there so that I can use my, my attack on him. And it looks like I can't. That was 50 feet. Yeah. Because I have to go half less than half my speed, right? Or half my, yeah. my range. Okay. Just 30. So. Yeah, can I can I throw my dagger at him? Oh, you certainly or, could, but you d you don't get back attack, or it's not like uh, three oh, okay. plus where you get sneak attack damage no matter what you do. You need All to right. be up next to him to do that. So you can, can he just up. move up and take the heat from the sphere yeah. and still backstep? He can do whatever he wants, but as long as he doesn't move more than thirty. Yeah, if you want to just stand right next to the fireball, you you don't want to move. Well, I mean, you can move through it too. That's Gonna be more damage, and moving there is through it. But he can backstab just being north of, you know, just right there, the minimum. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just telling him yeah. what damage he's gonna take. Because that's just one d4 for being next to the sphere. What do you want to do? All right, I'm gonna go there. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna ping where you want to put him, and I'll put him there. You want to go there? Okay, so that's through it. Uh, go ahead, and this is Tim's. Right. Tim's, you, you need to target him. Uh, although you Save, can't see right? him, he can't. Tim he has left Discord chat. He just dropped out. All right. Well, I'll do Tim for him. Oh, there's nothing targeted. Well, wrong person targeted. Let me. Right. I gotta look at my character too, because I might have an actual like uh, benefit from being a gnome on this. Save so no. Damage. You save so you're good. It doesn't right. matter, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so All plus right. two to hit. Or plus four to hit. All that for nothing. Oh no! <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Uh, removing Viz. Alright, Drog, now it's your turn. Okay, that ape's gotta die. I'm sick of this thing, so. Yeah, he's kind of mucking up the gears. Damn! That ape's well, tough. End of the round's coming, baby. I need to change this to where it uh, zooms in for me. One second. Pan. Where is the pan on turn, please? Thank you. This guy. He's just gonna. Is this half? It's less, it's less than half. 
He's gonna move to here and try to stab you guys this cleric in the backfield. I miss. This one. Oh, I hate this. Uh, tag. This is surf info. All right, I'm gonna try to dispatch this one guy up in the corner because I feel like I'm not in the damn fight. So I'm gonna swing at it, him. It has shifted south. Yes, it has. You had that passage blocked up pretty good. Yeah, she just did went around a the back. very fine job up there. Yep. All right. Oh, max damage. Okay, I am going to move next round into the rest of the battle. All right. Well, now I get to swing at Sir Tim, and he's probably not here. He may miss it. Oof, 19 for one damage. That does mean it's going to interrupt this thing. Uh, we're going to spear Gunthrit. That is a miss. This guy is going to try to spear Blackmouth. Again, being frustrated by Stone Skin, which missed. This guy is Blackmouth. Okay, Blackmouth is casting a special spell that he created himself. Um, so he weaves around in the weave and he forms these glowing frisbees about 12 inches in diameter and he starts to fling them at the at the thing so he gets four mike do you want him to do two now and two at the end or how do you want to split that up uh it's spell man just do it all at once right now unless you're going to delay some till the next round i don't remember how it works so well he gets four so he's just gonna start flinging them and when they die yep. move to the next one yeah okay but he does have to roll it to hit Yep, there's a little attack button there for it. And it's plus three. Is that built in, or do I put it on it there? It should do whatever it's supposed to do. I don't I don't remember. Well, one's going to miss. Ouch. Well, that'd be a one miss. All right, so I'll go to number two. That looks like a hit. That one yep. hit. It's still okay. standing. So now we're going to go with number three. That is a hit, too. It took out one. And got we one got left. number four. And okay, miss. that's it. All right. Alright, this one is going to stab at Blackmail since I still have you targeted. I miss. This one is going to attack Drog. This one is going to attack... Ooh, what does he have? Oh, he's got a hand axe. He's going to use a hand axe. And miss too. Gunther. Are you there, Gunther? He is connected. Five, four, three, two, one. He's getting delayed to under realm. This guy is dead. This one is not. And the only person he can attack is Archie. So that's what he's going to do with his hand axe. And miss. This guy is going to attack Gunther. And miss. Archie. Oh, 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 Archie, okay. He'll swing at the... um the monkey thing again because that's all he's been doing it looks like a rabid ape like a rabid great ape he's got pointy teeth they're not like you know f you know flat teeth used for eating vegetables oh. Looks oh. Like it's well, let's make him right? look like a dead ape <laughs> yeah. well unfortunately aren't you missed yeah that has been one tough ape and uh well, he can only attack Tim. I guess Tim is not back. No, we missed him. And this one, he's going after the druid. What'd I do? Uh, you're the one on the edge of the combat as far as he's concerned. Yeah, he was afraid of the fire. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to go towards the fire. They're all avoiding fire. That's why they all went the other way. And... Ape time. Clobber time. And we're just going to keep bashing on the druid with the monkey. That is a hit. Another hit. Oof, three hits. And hill giant. Uh, we have two targets. No, actually, we have three if you count the other thing. Um, and since he would be fearful and want to attack the thing that is... Um, does what does it say the AC of the thing that is attacking him is um it's the the flaming sphere no 
I'm talking about the uh, oh the phantasmal, the phantasmal killer. killer. Um, well, I don't it think says it said anything about it. It AC. attacks as a four hit die monster and is invulnerable to all attacks. Well, and that's can what pass I'm saying. Any if, barrier. if he swings at it and which he would have done in the past, you know, this is the third round. He would have swung at it and you know more likely hit it and then saw that oh it's not work you know this is not real yeah. yeah he'll try to hit it and it doesn't work and then that Let's prompts see. him to try to say well that ain't real yeah what okay, the fuck we'll, is that? yeah we'll let him save this i mean this is the third round that this kind of will say he swung at him twice or something like that because we're kind of hand waving going back in time here so what we need to do is a save versus spells. Uh, does, does the phantasmal uh, killer get to attack or do the damage or anything like that? Or no? Uh, it does have damage. I mean, you, on that. you already did the attack this round. When it was oh, okay. your turn, you did that roll. Okay. So, so does it get another? Does it get it for each round or or not? I'm I'm kind of curious. I don't know the, how that works. The way yes, I read it, you would get it every seven rounds of the thing until it hits or it misses its save or it disbelieves. And this is his turn, so he's going to disbelieve because okay. it's been okay. three rounds and he. Oh, has I, to I, not, you. I'm okay. kind of I misunderstood. I think I have too much whiskey in me, so that's my fault. That's all right. No, 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 no. It's we we kind of went back in time on this because we didn't totally understand spells. So next time we'll know. So feel free to keep using it. Just we'll know how it works. And I will probably configure the spell when we get done uh, to have a little token or something. So it's on the map, like the little flaming spheres. Cool. Uh, so that was his disbelief check. Even if it nice. was a minus one, uh, he still would have made it. Uh, he's, he would have been right on it. So um, All right. next time we know. Yeah, well, um, we don't have to worry about it anymore either. <laughs> no. Uh, it's, but that doesn't uh, keep him from being able to attack this round. And... But keep Capus in the spell, dude, because, I mean, it had a shot at just taking him out. That's what yeah, it, yeah, it's a cool spell. So it's either going to be one for draw, or one for Delwar or two... Oh. Not druid. No, oh, they're all gonna smash up the druid. That's a hit. This is gonna hurt. Oof, Thirteen damage. All right. Bugbear is going to continue attacking our cleric and miss. Um, Gunther, go ahead and roll, but I'm gonna let you get an action right off at the beginning because I delayed your action uh, to the end of the round. But you, oh, hey, because you weren't here. Drog didn't get his second attack that round, by the way. Uh, did you delay? Yeah, he did. Um, it shouldn't have ended the combat then. Yeah, I don't know why, but it. he didn't get his second. I, I mean, he had delayed. He was at the bottom, but then we just started the next round. So. Okay, go ahead and do your rolls, and I will give Drog and Gunther his attacks. Yeah, I lost connection. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Finally, damn dirty ape. And I guess Tim is still out here. And John, you had a question? Yeah, this it might depend on what I want to do actually. So, um, do you do you think that he's capable of hiding underneath or not hiding, but standing fully erect underneath that table and like attacking him from under the table? Absolutely. Yeah, it's well above your head. It is a it's a table big enough for them to sit in. And the food be at their, you know, chest level. And you can make this ruling later. That's fine. But do you? Would you consider that being hidden? Uh, no. He's gonna know. I mean, because you're behind him. You've already stabbed at him once. He knows you're yeah. there. Yeah. The only way yeah. that you can get like another backstab would be to uh, go invisible and sure. Then attack again, or, or or something along those lines. It's I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. It's not like in 3e, 5e, where you can just step into the shadows or something like that and then uh, get sneak attack bonus again. Uh, so, Gunther, do two actions. It uh, looks like you've already done one. Uh, so you are first this round, so go ahead and do your second action because you missed your last round. Nice. Uh, now you can end your turn. All right. I am going to move over here. These guys are getting their butts kicked over here. I'm gonna go over here and attack some of these guys that are attacking Drog or uh, or Archie. Okay. Go for it. How does it hit, sir? Six damage, nice. 
It's a fan fall. What are you doing? All right. Can I move through the column? Yeah. The column. It's, the the column. column is from Silver Surfer. Technically. So I can move through. Them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Does I'm going to wait. John have his hand raised? He did. Long time ago. Yeah. Once. Once it's, a, I, I take it down. It doesn't take it down for everybody. It no, you got an X out of it. Yep. Yeah. Is that allowable? Oh uh, yeah. Nice. Perfect. Well, on the silver dude followed perfectly. Guy. Oh man, you guys are gonna move through my bugbears. Oh, or not? Son of a... Not with that. <laughs> uh, this guy has multiple targets. Um, but he was attacking Drog from the beginning, so that's what he's going to do right now. And this. Gentlemen. Staff of Kieran on myself. Okay. This will be the second charge for the day. Okay. Ooh, that was a good roll. Yeah, it was. You're probably going to need it because this giant's probably going to smash you. Yeah, him he's probably going <laughs> to smash me in the head. You've got two yeah, targets. Gotta... He can either turn around and get the guy that's trying to poke him in the butt. Or the druid that's in front of him that's poking him in the face. It is the druid. That is a hit. Uh oh. Oh, one less than you got healed. <laughs> well, good thing he healed it. Yeah. All right, Archie. All right, he's going to attack at the guy to his south. Yeah. Okay. That's a better roll. It is. They are large. That's why he got his D12 on the long sword and why you're getting D6 on your sword. All right, Delvar. Yeah, so my thought is I'm going to go underneath that table. Even if he knows I'm there, it, it'll be harder to see me, I guess. So I'm just going to call it that anyway. Okay. Yeah, if he attacks you, I'll give him a... You'll get a little extra modifier for him to hit you. Does that look like a good spot right there? I don't know what the best spot, like over the first one. I don't know where the hell I should throw in that. You pick where we're going to go, man. It's up to you. From there, you can attack the bugbear and him. Yeah. It's doing some weird things when I click damage. Hold on. You want me to roll it for you? Yeah, because it's doing this weird thing where it's it's throwing um, the damage details up. I'm only hitting just like to do the damage, and it's just saying it's throwing the damage details up in a weird window. That's strange. Hmm. Yeah, I did it from here, and it looked okay. I opened the the window just to make sure there weren't any errors popping up either. But I did max damage for you, so there you go. <laughs> All right, there, <laughs> yeah, take it. All right, in turn, uh, this guy is going for black mouth with his spear. This is this guy is going for going through with his axe. Black mouth. All right. Well, Blackmouth doesn't like melee combat, so he's putting a shield on himself. Okay. All right, in turn. Well, this one's going to keep swinging, swinging at Tim. That is a hit. Three. This one's going to keep swinging at Gunthrood. That is a hit. Uh, this one is going to swing at Jason. Oh, dear. And miss. <laughs> Drog. Uh, Drog really wants to get to that giant. But if I move off, I'm going to take two opportunity attacks from those bugbears. Dude, you're worried about opportunity attacks. They haven't hit you all night. Yeah, all right. I'm going to I'm gonna move up, take the heat from the sphere, and bust the giant. I will hit him again at the end of the round. Oh, I thought I did. I did do this. Here we go. I don't need you guys to do this shit. I'm not saved. Do damage. There we go. You failed twice, man. What's up with that? All right, Bugbear. Uh, he has two target opportunities. We'll roll the dice. One is Delwar. Two is Druid. Two, it looks like that's what it is. Spear. Ooh, it hits. For six. Alright, this guy is on two and does one damage. Oops, I'm trying to make these as quick as I can because there's a lot of them. So, another buggy. Oh, same guy. Miss. 
And this one is going to go for Jason with a spear and miss. This one is going to go for Gunthrid and miss. This one's going to go for Blackmouth and miss. Oh my ha -ha. God. This one is going to go for Archie, the only person he can swing at with his axe and miss. Oh shit, that was me. That was me. I need a confirmation on it because I, right next to next turn is next round. So I, I did Dra that. Drog and Archie need to, I think, go. And that is Drog and Tim. Spear didn't get on yeah, the Archie giant either. Okay, so you want me to go ahead and swipe at him now, Mike? Yeah, do your last attack. Okay. It's going to roll initiative first, I think. But I'll just yeah, do will. that and then attack. Yeah. All right, everybody can roll, by the way. I'll make sure Tim rolls. I got a question again because I got a, a thought. So it was, it, it's going to affect what I do with my initiative. That's why, but I can wait till my turn. It's about to wait for Just removing some people from combat so it's a little shorter. Get rid of that okay. damn ape. Got through. Jason, why did you slide through the crowd like that? I didn't, I didn't touch anything. I'm not sure what happened. You slid all the way through the group right there, man. I don't know what. To, maybe my cat did it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, Delvar. What was your question? Sorry. I don't know. My dog ate my potion, so I can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I um, move to uh, Jalaman and apply, or give him a potion as a uh, action? I've got uh, a potion of healing. So you're standing between there's there's a giant and a uh, bugbear between you and him. Um, there's a body like that you that. can't. Yeah, you like if it was a human, I might let you stand there, but you're not human. That thing's a large ape body that's dead there. So uh -huh. like how the, how the other guys can't move through giants, you wouldn't be able to move through that. Uh, all right, so that, I can't. I couldn't so, stand on it on his back. It's just like perfectly reach his lips <laughs> right. it's not just that you're you're also moving away from the giant which would give him a free yeah. attack at you uh, and the uh, bugbear would get one as well as you moved on top of the body and you can certainly do all that if you want to try it no, no it's I think okay. you're better off just attacking that giant that's what I I or, or I killing the bugbear one or the other I, I, I so, just shoot my shot here and it, if you want to good enough if you want to use your turn to say make a tumble check and i will say you make a tumble check you land on top of the ape and whip out a potion and hold it out towards him you can well i'm gonna take and, and a gamble it, on, a, and I'm if gonna, you made the tumble take, you wouldn't get hit but i'm gonna take a gamble on this get, maybe i've got enough to kill this giant so i'm gonna go, right, for, that, go for it you can go for <laughs> it you got it man Oh! <laughs> oh, the 19 oh, fell over. Dang yeah. it. I, I, call, oh, I call unfair. I call unfair. <laughs> you got it. That was so terrible. <laughs> okay. Sorry, man. Somebody shook the table. Yeah. He's having a bad night. He missed on a backstab earlier. Yeah. End of turn, please. I don't want to hit the end turn because I may hit next round. All right, Black Mouth. Sorry, like right, we're gonna optimism. plump some magic missiles into this dude. Yep. Okay. So you need to pick all your targets before you say something. If you want all of them in one, you certainly can do that. Or if you want to spread them out, you need to say it before you do it. It's not like, it's not like uh, you it's, can go. Uh, it's every odd level, right? So one, three, five, seven. He gets five. Yeah. Uh, Okay, we're gonna put three in 114 and two in 105. All right, go for it. I hit the damage three times and then go to the other one and hit it twice, yep. yeah. Yep, you can hit the control button while you do it and skip all the situation. One more. Oh, look at that. Two on the other one. Damn, son. <laughs> that was, how many maxes? One, two, three. I got five. Yeah. You got oh yeah, maxes. he rolled some fives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he good. got three maxes. One was a four. 
All right, uh, Mr. Giant is on his last leg, and we're going to roll a d3 to see who he's swinging at. And it looks like it's going to be Drog. Um, give me a hit. Give me a hit. Oh, there we go. We got a hit. Axie's got must be magic because he's hitting really damage. well. All right, Bugbear is going to go for Archie. Ooh, that's a hit. Oof, oh, poor Archie. Bugbear number 99 is going for Gunthrit. Yes. Jason. All right, I'll attack the same one again. Oh, that's a hit, sir. Come on, man, you can do it. There you go. Took him out. Nice. Dog. Ah, uh, this giant's dead. We'll see. You could roll a one. Oh! I that could, was almost a but one. I didn't. <laughs> that was almost a one. <laughs> He's not going to survive this. <laughs> he had like two hit points left. Take I was hoping bitch. Delwar yeah. would hit him. <laughs> Delwar, if you had hit him, you'd have took him out for sure. Oh. Man, that was, All that right, was so fun. I'm gonna intern because I can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what would Tim do? Shit. Uh, he would move the sphere away from Drogue. Tim sure. would not fuck with it. He's Tim's gonna throw up shield and do the same thing. Blackmouth would have done because he's yeah. getting beat the shit up right now. He don't care about the shit, the thing. Although if he yeah. was here, he may have a different opinion. But yeah, he's he's getting. If uh, I was Tim, he would cast shield. Yeah, he's getting his poo poo pushed in. Hopefully that AC will help him survive. Is an egg bag X term? Get his shit pushed in or his poop poop? No, <laughs> <laughs> that is a Michael Roark term. And it came from when we were playing uh, one of those FPS games that I can't remember. The terrorist win thing, I can't remember. Call of Duty, I think it was. No, 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 no. I can't remember. Uh, let's see, he's going to swing at one of two guys. Uh, number two, which is going to be Delwar. And he's going to be at minus one. How much did he hit by? Oh, that missed actually, because it's at minus one. Because you're under the table. Uh, this one is swinging at Tim. With this. And misses. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, Shield. Uh, this one is swinging at Jason. Fall. Okay, I'm gonna tack this one to my uh, southwest. Oh, and he misses. Okay, I'm gonna delay. This guy is no longer worth living. Jolomon. Poke the bugbear with my spear. It was counter strike by the way. When we were getting beat up really bad, that's what Michael Rourke would say. Now, yeah, what's Archie doing? To the south. Ooh, net 20. He is not a fighter, though, so no bonuses, but... So he to do his... Man, not damage. much damage. Yeah, he's not a straight... He's an archer guy. He's not a... I mean, it's in the name. Yeah, he's an archer <laughs> without a bow right now. He does yeah. a lot of damage with the bow. Yeah, well, I mean, if you hit the giant with his sword, he'd still do a lot of damage, too. Jason. This one's on Jason. This is... Not going through it, and these guys cannot hit for shit. Oh, it's your fin fall. You're the last one this round. I'm not accidentally hitting in turn. Oh man, crap! I don't know why it didn't attack instead of my initiative. That's really weird. Maybe you hit it twice. I don't know. It shows that you haven't rolled initiative yet. So, are you talking to Delwar and you to me? You Delwar and Gunther both need to roll initiative. Sorry, I had to go to the rest group. That's okay, man. There we go. All hey, right. can Drog chug down this potion and still step up one square to get out of the fireball? Nope. Damn it. Yeah. No, he's still taking the potion. So. Okay. Uh, uh, Delwar attacking with dagger. I mean, I'm presuming you're attacking the bugbear. If oh, I'm break. sorry. I thought I was first. My bad. You will be next. I'm waiting for Delar to go. If I move right in the between the three of those guys, can I? Uh, uh, is that cool? You mean and like still... move right there? Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I can, you can move there. Is that, 
Does that provoke still, an attack of opportunity? I'm no? not going to say because you're not moving out of the you know the area that he's in. Yeah, that's what if I you move more than one, like if you tried to encircle him with something, I probably would, but yeah. you're not. You're just moving because you're not moving past position. them, right? Right. Yeah, I'm not moving right. out of range. I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't something I didn't understand. About no, you're good. Too. You're good. Or AD and D2. Cool. So uh, I want to go there, and then I'm going to attack that guy right there with the dagger. All right, you, you pick which one and do your attack. That is a hit. Good lord. Yeah. Took him out. And he swings across and kills him, and then he turns around and he's ready to go for the next guy. Alrighty. Spraying the blood across. Talman. All right, Drog, uh, you drink your potion. He already did his thing. Yeah. All right, so while we're here, we'll go ahead and do my flamies and black mouth. You are casting magic missile. Another magic missile. Okay, so I'm going to put two into 105, and then I'm going to put three into 99 to try to give Gunther some relief down there. All right, go for it. And the second one is a waste. Uh, switch targets. You got three more on the southeast. Although, if you want to shoot the body, you're welcome to. Well done. He's already dead. <laughs> Gotta, uh, man, look at those fucking rolls. <laughs> hey, they gotta go, man. I mean, they, they, uh, we're just gonna keep pounding the dead corpse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, or, can anybody hear me? Or did the job just come Yeah, no, you're, you're I there. can hear you now. I'm dealing with NPCs, so it's quiet right Sorry, now. I, thought, I thought we lost everybody. This one falls back to here. Get the body out. So I can do that. All right, Sir Fimthal. Okay, I'm going to attack this guy again here in the corner. Okay. They got another one. All right. Goodness gracious, a log. I'm going to end that crazy. turn. Okay. Call him. Uh, well, I was going to start poking stuff with my spears, but things around me are dead now. I'm going to switch to my short bow. And I guess that's all I can do. Yep. Um, I'm going to climb up on the table and get out my short bow. Can I do that? Uh, you can climb up on the table or you can get the short bow. I'll get my short bow. Okay. Or you can, you could, you could pick up, uh, Archie's bow. <laughs> pick up right Archie's there. bow. No, I will, I will seriously <laughs> pick up Archie's bow. Okay. It's laying right there where you're at. Uh, okay. Uh, and I will uh, hand it to Archie <laughs> or I will do that Thank next you. turn. Yeah. yeah. I'm done, Cause I was going after it next anyway. Yeah, you, you you can pick up his bow and pull out your bow this round, so you're good. Okay, yeah, I would do that. Okay, come through it. It's a miss, Jason. All right. Well, there's still a bugbear right next to me. There is. There's a dead giant right next to you too. Probably. Oh. Oh, that's a one. It's a miss. Uh, Tim. Spear to the groin. Nope. Uh, Jason, spear to the face, maybe. No. Archie. Can I get my bow? bow? Yeah. All right. So now I can shoot? One shot. At least one? Yeah, okay. one shot. Target this guy down here to the southwest. With the wrong character. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Archie's disappointing. He's having a rough night. He is, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Oh, Tim. Um, but I will say Tim's a coward, and he's falling back behind Blackmouth to the edge of the table. <laughs> he's not here. I don't want to have to play him. Sorry. All right, it looks like Blackmouth is going first. Okay, we're going to put three magic missiles in 71 and two in 265. All righty. <laughs> Max and then I'm rolling all three of them, dang it. Max again, God. You got some good magic missile rolls there, dude. Give me some more ones. Oh, twos. Two are Black Mouth two. loves the magic missile. <laughs> he does. <laughs> uh, Del Mar. Uh, right, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna uh see where those magic missiles hit and he's gonna follow right up with another hit. Alrighty. Bugbear turned around because of the magnet missiles in the back. Spins around. Manages to dodge your sword. 
Well, he's going to try to spear you in the face. No. And misses. <laughs> you know why it takes me so long to, to end turn? It's because I'm, sometimes I'm looking at the uh, what the results of my effects are. Oh, on the so, right. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that I do is I have the combat tracker popped out right next yeah. to the chat window. That's exactly bottom, what I do. And at the bottom, there's that next turn. You can just hit your button there when you're when you're ready. So that's yeah, fine. I, I get you need to you want to wait and see what's going on. I, I, I maybe it's a little faster on my end than for you that I can see that stuff. But uh, he missed. Come through, Jason. Spirit of the face or wild miss? That's a wild miss. Good lord. I think me and Archie are on the same wavelength tonight. Shoot my bow. Go for it. That's a friend All right, can I step over this dead guy and attack this other bugbear to the south? Which bugbear are you talking about? Uh, you mean stand on top bite. of that body and... Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Let me just... Can I do that? that? Yeah, go for it. Okay. If it's a giant, no, but... And if there was multiple there, I probably wouldn't let you either. Hit by six. There we go. It's gonna hurt. Oh, dang it. No. Uh, both things are swinging at the little dude that's come out from underneath the table. It's, and they still miss. Oh, my goodness. Jason. With a 15, they missed. All right. Try and get this guy I fumbled against last time. Ooh, there we go. This, nine, gotta do man. It. this has got to do it. Is he going to kill still? Is he going to kill still? No. Oh, not. what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I'm drunk. All right, Drog's had enough of this dwarf abuse going on down south, so he's going to run screaming down there, yelling out in Dwarvish, I'm coming, clansman. Okay, go for it. That'll get you next to the live one now. Go for it. Is that more than 30 feet? I think it was. I think that was, was 35. Too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But it wouldn't have done any good to stop at 30 because that guy's dead. So. Yeah, true. Alrighty, this guy's going to keep wailing on. Got through the missing. Man, these guys have been the worst. Archie. I feel like I have air conditioning. <laughs> I'm telling you. I to, They've been whipping at you all night, man. They just need some fans. <laughs> All but right. it doesn't smell very good coming off a of bugbear, though. No. So he can take bull shots this time? Uh, I don't think, yeah, you guys are the ones left. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, okay. You must be rolling really bad for him. Because he's yeah, almost old, really. Like, oh, and, God. And then he rolls a three. Dude. He's been missing all night. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a little off his game tonight. That hits. All right. Uh, uh, Tim, 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 Tim is, is, he's cowarding out in the corner. Sorry, guys. If he's out of spells, that's what he should probably do. Well, um, uh, I mean, he has to take magic. Uh, save that for later. He doesn't have a wand that I can see or anything. He does have web, but, you know. I just, I have plenty to play without having to play him, too, so. All right. Looks like Blackmouth is going first for Undecided. Well, so the hand crossbow of Acid Arrows does not have a initiative button, so. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't do action yet, so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he's going to line up on Bugbear 263 and fire a shot hand him. crossbow shot at it. Oh, and that's a miss. miss. Hits the ground, fizzles, and starts eating a hole through the... Through the floor. Yep. Delwar. Delwar jumps out of the way of the acid bolt that lands right by his toe, and he's like, shit, and he swings his, boat, his uh, knife across. Oh. See, you made him miss, man. <laughs> that's what I, man, you know, he needed that in his face. All right, uh, drug. Okay, Drog has had enough of this dwarf abuse down here, so we're going to take 127 out. Certainly take did, that. Yeah. Yeah, I put two arrows in him last round. He was bleeding profusely. Uh, 
This guy is still swinging at Gunthred. And he's, what do they need to hit you? What is his AC? His AC is zero. Man, they must have terrible that go. I'm going to look at this. It's like a two hit dice monster, right? Uh, stuff them. Maybe like three. One, one two plus. or three. They need a no, no. plus to hit him. They're they're definitely two. I don't remember if they're two or three though. Yeah, they need they need a, a seventeen or better to hit him. Dalton. Short bow. Not Jason. Alrighty. He's still alive. Yeah, that guy. He is. I don't know how that guy's still alive, but. Oh, that's, that's how he's still alive. That's yeah. why. <laughs> uh, Dang. I got him through. All right, Archie's going to keep going at the same guy. All right. He only gets one. He'll do the other and at the end of the round. He missed or hit? Oh, he hit. That's a hit. Green is hit, yes. Oh, okay. But, uh, he Can he pick out. another target at the end of the round? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. he's, he's a range guy. You know, it's not a spell either. Certain spells require you to pick your targets beforehand. Uh, so we have... This guy's going to keep swinging at Jason with his spear. And keep missing. Trifem Paul. Okay, going to keep attacking this one guy. Man. Oh my god, it's the world's toughest bugbear. So this one is going to run over to here. He looks like he's running away, so uh, Gunthred, you can make an attack against this one right here. Kill him or he'll bring more bugbears. Is there any left? They're like <laughs> ants. The question is, is there any uh, There you go, there you go. Nice. You do not kill him. Uh, so he runs and then goes up the stairs you guys came from. Uh, it's not let me do it. So he's going to run to... Why is it? Why can't he see through that? Man, what is... Because he wants us to kill him. No. As he dawdles around, we get another opportunity attack. No, this is my map error. He runs up the stairs. You guys didn't actually come up these, I don't think. You came through the secret door. He yeah, we up the stairs. The yeah, he runs up the stairs. Uh, this other one is going to run away as well, but he's running this away. Since you've already had an attack of opportunity, you don't get another one. Um, but he is running off in this direction. And that would have been a back shot. Yeah, it would have. Uh, I mean, both of them are back shots, but uh, let's see. Gentlemen. Yeah, I can't get a parting shot on that one that was running up the stairs, can I? No, it's up, not down. Well, I mean, either way, it would have gotten out of line of sight. But he definitely had more than enough move to run out away from the guys. I'll see if I can kill the unkillable one. Oh man, you can do this. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if Archie can do it. Watch him be out of arrows. No. Which one? The one just south of Jason. The one we keep whiffing on. All right. Can he shoot from that range? Yeah, he's more than five feet away, right. yeah. And that's within five feet and 35 feet, he gets his that additional bonus. Okay, this has to kill him. It definitely will kill him, because he only had one hit point left. <laughs> so minimum would take him out. All right, so... Well, one Sir left. So Fimfall doesn't uh, get to do anything, because he's already attacked. This would have been... Yeah, there is only... Get out of there. You get out of there. I'm looking. I think there's only one bugbear left. He hasn't realized his, his buddies have hauled ass yet. All right, Gunther, what are you doing? I'm throwing. Uh, do the damage from your... Oh, shit. There's no way to do damage from that for normal. Uh, don't, don't do damage. Oh, you missed him. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I need, yeah, I need to put a normal damage on there too. I didn't think about that. All right. uh, black mouth. Okay, we're gonna shoot an acid arrow. It is. Hissing. Burn, baby, burn. Yep. With Fimfall. Uh, there's only that one left. Yep. All right. I'll move. Can I move on top of that guy? Yes. 
You're gonna be underneath him though. Right there, right? Yep. Ooh! All right. And that is the last of the creatures that you can see around you. It has been a long extended battle. There's bodies strewn about the room everywhere. The smell of carnage and gore is very strong. The uh, body of the fire giant begins to hiss some bubble and fizz and smoke comes off of it. And it kind of turns into this black ooze and melts into the floor. You guys have seen that before. Yep. Oh, Black Mouth is so pissed. He was going to harvest tissue samples and blood. Bummer. Those things have some sort of rune on them that puts them under control of the witch, and they turn into goo when they die. We've yeah, seen we it in lizard, lizard men. People. The lizard people. Yeah. I'm just not sure there's so much magical re- reagent value in the goo. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but he can do some harvesting off that hill giant leader. So I'm taking a potion of healing. Yeah, so is Archie. Okay. The leader had a giant club and a battle oh, yeah. axe. Black Mount did one either one. Five points is better than nothing. Okay, Mike. Black Mount's going to get another couple of vials of hill giant blood and some giant muscle. Okay. His, uh, his intent is to use that to work on some girdles of giant strength for Finfall and Drog. So. Yeah. Just make a note Oops. on your uh, inventory of that stuff. Yeah, I've got empties. I'm knocking those down and jacking Looks up. Like how much there's a stuff. bedroom to the north here. Yeah. I was, I was, Suggest we rest in there, possibly. Not only that, I was thinking we should search that room for sure. And, and there's another door right there to the right side of that hallway going north. Yeah, you have a large passageway here over to the southeast. Um, you have a door up here. It is not open. It looks more secure than the rest of them. This door right here is open. That is where the bugbears came out of. Somebody needs to grab that axe that the one-eyed giant had. The bugbear came out of here as well from the southeast. The giant with the one eye ball came from there, and then you have a hallway that goes to west. And then you also have a set of stairs that lead up to the south. Actually, this map is twisted, so this is actually west uh, right here. And where Gunther is is south, so it's kind of twisted. I don't know why they had to do that, but they did. Hmm. So east is let's north. Go check that, let's go check that bedroom out. I agree. Mm-hmm. Mike, while I'm, while I'm in front of this door, do I see anything? Drog's going to get that battle axe. So, uh, what do you mean, see anything? It is. A, it looks like a reinforced strong door. Yeah, it's going to lock. Uh, what I, no, what I mean, you like, can't tell that it's locked from the other side or this side. There's no padlock on it, though. No, not, not, not like a skull keel or anything like that. No. And sound, any Sorry. sounds, anything? Uh, if you want to do a detect noise, you certainly can. Do a blind GM roll on that. Don't hear anything. Uh, uh, let me give you a description of the room. Uh, this is where the keeper guy was. He is the hunchback uh, hill giant. He had two pet apes. They were actually carnivorous apes, if you care. Uh, there are many skins on the floor, a bed, a table, a chair, two boxes, several crates and barrels. One chest and odds and ends of armor, weapons and furniture, and tableware. The armor and stuff looks like a chest piece from a plate set. You know, it's just like pieces. It's like trophies that he kept from various uh, things that he defeated. Uh, the weapons are like shattered weapons, like broken spears and snap swords and cleaved shields and that sort of thing. Or you said a chest? Mm-hmm. All right. We'll take a look at that. Delwar, do you want to see if there's any traps in the chest and see if it's locked? Yeah, let me have a look. I'll, uh, and, and I'll walk over there and just have a just eyeball the chest a little bit. Yeah, look, here's a lock right there. Uh, 
It kind of has a lot. smell about it, like feet. It's, uh, it's full of cheese. It's clothes. It's what I was gonna say. It sounds like it's. It smells like a common bear. It doesn't smell yeah. Uh right. It doesn't. Doesn't look like it has a lock. And you look for traps about it, and you don't see any traps on it either. Hey, well, I've given it once over, and I don't think it's got traps. So let's open her up. Go right ahead. Hey, well, hey, I actually don't know where the hell this thing is. Is it over yeah, in the corner over here? You just pretend it's in the room. It's not All right, on, cool. the, on the. So I, I, I kind of, I, I kind of like wince a little bit because I'm not sure of myself, and I just lift it up. This stench of feet and like just like imagine an athletics room that just has not been cleaned in years and that's what it smells like. Why is there feet inside here? It's like they're severed. <laughs> It's gross. <laughs> it, it looks like there's like uh, the, the the hill giants like uh, underclothes and like us uh, and maybe it's socks. You're not sure, but because they're so crusted with dirt and junk that they're almost stand up on their own. Get your golem over here and stick his hands in here because I don't want to fly in. <laughs> yeah. Now let's so, start. I'll take, the, the rest I'll take the yeah. I'll, I'll take the long the, the long tooth and kind of like stick it in there and see. I'll poke around and see, see if there's anything like a uh, solid or anything like that. Yeah, like my sword. You, poke, you poke around in it and it, it just makes the smell even stronger and worse. Oh, it's oh, like oh, you're oh. just stirring it up. It just gets worse and worse. Is it so bad that I might disbelieve that this is actually a stench? No, no. It definitely smells like the giant that you guys were beating on. It definitely oh, smells real. It just sounds like the guy doesn't bathe. And okay, he's just maybe we don't want to rest in, there. in here. The the man keeps his knickers like it's a like it's a gold mine or something. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, I, uh, Delar, give me a D10. Uh, you can do it out in the open. This is to see if you catch a disease. No, this is uh, to see if he notices that whenever he stumbles back to kind of cu- cover up his face, because it just it's really getting to him. It stinks really bad. Um, whenever you step back a little bit, you notice that one of the stones on the floor are kind of loose, and you look down, and it just kind of tilts back and forth. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> yeah, is it, a, is it a trap? No, it, it, it looks like a hidey hole. Hidey maybe. hole, yeah. All right, so I st- uh, uh, kind of like, like, oh shit, and I stick my sword down into the edge where the stone, there's a gap in the stone, and I kind of like go flip it a little bit and like pop it off. Yeah, it comes right off, and underneath it, you can see. Let's see, does it say what it's in? It just kind of seems to be laying in the in a, the little cubby hole. You can see gold coins, these uh, five stones shiny glimmering sort of gems or something uh four other sort of purplish stones and a large earthenware jug and i'm going to uh this is what you can take it from i'll put it next to you so you can you can double click on that and that's the stuff you see in it all right boys i think we found our, the end of the rainbow there's <laughs> some gold in here and a couple of other things you would uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll take it out. I guess, you know, I don't know if I, we could, we're going to put it right into the uh, bag of holding thing. So maybe we just do that. Yeah. Draw can pick it up if you want. Sure thing. How many gold coins? Oh, a few. Looks like. Uh, 5,400. I've, I've been looking at this small, you know, like bungalow on the southern side. Uh, <laughs> uh, perfect. Yeah, we have got so much money. Buy, buy a small town, yeah. What's the question, sir? I'll pick something up off of one of those hill giants. It says um, it's, a, it's an item. Is it like, a, I'm just inquiring whether it's like a jewelry or something. It's in my inventory. Do you remember which one it came from? Which one did you take it off of? Number 28, hill giant 28. Really? Uh, it's just a chain necklace. Oh, it doesn't say it on the thing. 
Yeah, the thing that was in the giant clay pot was actually the four potions. It's supposed to be one giant pot with all of those. I made them four individual things just to make my life easier. Uh, but otherwise, the room has a giant bed in it, and um, it, I mean, it smells like animals, you know, from the, it smells like the AP smell, um, the, the scent from the giant's chest of, you know, left in his clothes kind of reeks a little, I mean, but it is a room. Strongly suggest we rest. I don't know if Camping we should do it up. here yeah, sure. or if we should go back to the cave, but we should definitely rest. Yeah, you know, so, if it if it takes too much to get outside, then yeah, here's a good one. We can just like lock the door. Glyph a warning the, on the door, yeah. Yeah, right. I yeah. have glyph. I have, have glyph a warning. And we also need to get that freaking crate out of there. It's really ass crate. Yeah, the chest. Light some incense. Have you used lay lay hands today, Finfall? Yeah, it's not available for me. What's Jason doing? What's Archie doing? You guys are still out in the middle of the room. I just want to mention that. I... Yeah, trying to stay away from giants' underpants. <laughs> I just want to mention that I do have fragrance and spices in my inventory. You can make one of those little scent balls that the ladies used to carry around over their nose in the bad part of town. Of course, Blackmouth has all those that perfume that he picked up from that other room. Oh yeah. Wait, why do we have perfume? It's stinky in here. No, we did not keep the the hill giant perfume. It didn't oh, smell that very good. Yeah, all right. I mean, it smells better than these soft so. Yeah, oh, well, I have fragrances and spices, so I mean, I can we can do something with that, I guess. Dort, Drog doesn't know what you guys are bitching about. He's like, come on, man. It smells like home. Blackmouth is about to barf, though. He's not used to that crap. I do have to check magic up if you got anything you want scanned. Yeah, I have maybe a... That, maybe that axe. Yeah, I have Drog a picked necklace. up an axe. Yeah. I have a gold necklace, too. I don't know if it's magical, but... So I'll go ahead and do that, Mike. Cast tech magic. Yeah. on the gold and any gems we found and all that stuff just throw it in the pile the uh, vials of liquid you got out of the uh, cubby or magic the big axe that the giant was using as magic the necklace is not uh, if there's anything else you're going to have to ask me specifically okay axe is magic in the potions what about them silly socks? That's stinky enough to make me think. I'll glance going over on. at the stinky chest. <laughs> no, no, that's not magic. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else magic in the room uh, that is in in this room. Uh, if there's something on your person, you need to know this. If it's magic or not, you know you got to ask me. I don't have anything. No. Yeah. yeah. They're socks of brie cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Socks of limber. Oof. Hey, Blackmouth had picked up some stuff that detected magic last time. There were some swords and stuff, but we never identified them, so he's just carrying them around. Yeah. Yeah. Add the axe to the pile. Yeah. And then there was like a black metal chain, a long sword, a bastard sword, and a wand. Yeah. The chain is the teleportation device. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Do y'all want to rest here and and me cla uh, cast glyph of warding on the on the door? Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, I mean, just be aware that when we wake up, I'm, we're going to burn most, if not all, of our healing spells, getting back to normal. But that's kind of how we roll. I think I'll make uh, the glyph of warding uh, blinding, and my password will be no see. All righty, go for it. Cast it. <laughs> Do all that jazz. Where are you putting I, it? I'm just going to put I'm it on gonna, the door. I'm going to put it on the door, yeah. I don't know how to um, do that. Just, just uh, cast it. Target. That's I'm yeah, I casted it. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else you guys want to do? Create food water if he's got it up. 
And he's got it up. Done. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to set watches or do any other preparatory stuff? No, I'll, I'll take the first I watch. I think we're good with glyphal warding because, I mean, anybody that goes, comes through that door is going to go blind. Yeah, Unless there's secret save. doors in the room. save. You got a save and throw. What if I sit there and, and, and listen closely and, and somebody else takes over for me after a while? I think Archie can take a watch, right? It's an elf, isn't he? He's half elf. Half elf. Everybody needs sleep, but I mean, he doesn't need as much as you guys, but because he, he doesn't yeah. cast spells. But he still needs rest just like anybody else. And he got the I'm shit fine to staying here 12 hours if that's what it takes to get everybody rested. Mm hmm. Agreed. Wait, you think it might be a good idea for me to pull stuff underneath that table out there and then. Or is this Cliff Warden fucking us? Can I, can, I, can I open the door? Let's just say, can I open the door without. Door is door is open. It's not closed. Nobody said they closed it. Great. How about this? I'll go out there. I'll sleep underneath the table. I'll hide myself good and good and tight. If I hear anything while I'm out there sleeping, I'll, I'll close the door on way out. That's on you, man. Does it okay? Does a glyph of warning like like really though? Does a glyph of warning like fuck up? If I move through the doorway or is it? You said it had a password. Yeah, uh, it has a password, and let's see. The problem is, right. is that door is massive to you. You're going to need to make a strength check just to open it. Well, I thought you said it was open. Nobody yeah, closed it. Yeah, but you it. said you were going to close it. Right. So is there no way somebody else can say the password and help me close it? I'm yeah, not worried just... about the password. The, uh, what I'm saying is if you want to get back in, uh, it's going to take a strength check to open it. Oh, I'm Maybe not worried about that. Okay. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I mean, maybe maybe I am, but, I, but I'm, I'm willing to throw my character <laughs> and hide, like sleep underneath that bench that's over there by the wall, and yeah. kind of look hide, yeah. hide, hide and shadows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'll do that. All right, so that's... give me the check uh, for do a blind gym roll for hide and shadows over there. Sure thing. Let me find it real quick. Hold on. Okay, what are the rest of you guys doing? So are we doing one wrist one wrist around here and then going or yeah probably that's yeah i mean that's the way we roll so okay that's what that's we usually do yeah i'm just making sure i get my spell set right because if we're doing two rest rounds i can identify stuff oh i should think we should hold off on identify yeah that's fine i'm fine with that we'll wait till we get out so okay uh it looks like we are preparing for rest we'll close the door door is closed um, I need, uh, let's see, where is this? Don't one back with me, dog. Uh, we moved to another channel so I can talk to you. So no sooner do you get underneath the bench and kind of get snugged in for the night, you hear the sound of large footsteps coming from the west uh, actually north you remember how i said the north was actually west i'm not going to ping the map because i don't want to no I, I i get it i, I get okay. it yeah, yeah it, it, looking straight ahead it would be to your left um so you yeah, hear the sounds of something really large moving down the hallway you're you getting kind of familiar with the sound it sounds like a giant um and the giant looks let's see if i can send you an image this is not what I want. Well, I'm I'm pretty hidden. Like he, he he'd have to walk like full on into the room too, right? No, I just want to give you the image so you know what it is. Sure. Uh, what it looks gotcha. like. Uh, let's see. I've got a token somewhere. It looks like. Let's see if, and then let's see if I can send it to a person. Select it. Hopefully, this will send it just to you. Uh, and you saw some of these earlier. Um, mm -hmm. They kind of have, and this is, I think this is supposed to be their version. This is what was on the module. So I was trying to reuse some of the art from the module, but um, the skin, I don't know if this is supposed to be a fire giant or a stone giant, but it's, a it's, it's like the ones that were in the, when you guys came in initially, there was three gray skin yeah. bald giants. This is a, one of those. Um, and I think that's what they were going for with this image. I don't know. But uh, that's what it looks like. Um, 
and it walks through it's kind of looking around and you get this the you, you see the the glimmer of emerald sort of light coming from its eyes and it moves through the room and it goes through the door where the bugbears came out of um and shortly after that you see another one come in from the same direction that that one did um, and it's kind of standing around looking in the room just kind of it's it seems to be just kind of you know examining looking and seeing what's in the room like um i would say kind of like a ter like terminator did he was just kind of you know very mechanically looking. just kind of looking at things um give me you got spellcraft don't you I do. Let me get my character sheet up. Yeah, give me a blind GM roll on that because I don't want the other guys to see it. That was a cool roll. You didn't see it. It, it did a, a, a one of your. The, the, it looked neat. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it looks like uh, you don't pick up anything additionally from it, but you, you can see there is some kind of weird you know sort of emerald aura from its eyes while it's just kind of looking around and it's looking at things and it turns and looks at the door and then it moves to the door it's not right up next to it and then as as it's doing that you hear another set of feet coming from the uh north again which would be the same direction as the other one came from so you can see a total of two of them right now one of them is just kind of looking at the door again like terminator just looking at the hinges looking around um that sort of thing and the other one has moved into the hallway or into the room itself and placed itself do you see that hallway that leads out to the east right where um uh, just to the yeah. right of the door right yeah. where dawn's little mouse is going over um you can see yeah, it's, it. it's right there um while this is happening you can hear the sounds of uh, grumbling sort of uh, sounds like you're familiar with them. They're the bug bears that you guys encountered. Uh, you can hear the sound of more of them coming. Um, at that point, you can see right where my my mouse is pointed right now. That's where that giant is that went in that direction. He came back, and behind him, you can see uh, at least nine more bug bears coming with him. How? Oh. Okay, I got I got two questions mm -hmm. like so look, i'm gonna look at a spell real quick i want to kind of read it before i ask you this but what i'm, I'm gonna look at can't sorry i've been talking and i apologize i let go of my uh my, my button okay can i tell by looking at them do you like, speak giant by, well, well no hold on this is this is more like um my, like insight so like can i tell by looking at them who is who might be leading that group like uh, the bugbears or it, the giants? The giant. I mean, because I assume that the bugbears are in alliance with the giants. Like, is there some way that I can tell, like, who's kind of like telling whom to go do what? You know what I mean? They haven't spoken at all. The giants. At all. Or at all. So it's nothing, like nothing. something is. I mean, it, it, and this is kind of what the role was bef uh, earlier for. So I, I will give you the hint that something in the, you know, the the, the domination of, you know, the, the witch's light in their eyes. You know, you've seen how it controls these guys, and you know that the the, the stone giants are not necessarily evil, um, but obviously something has taken control of right. them because they're still here and they are. Um, intent on your party so all right so i'm gonna ask one more question and that'll dictate what i do next here okay. um is it possible for me to cast a verbal a spell with verbal components in a stealthy way meaning like can i try to be stealthy about it if i can't that's cool i don't care it's just either if, if it's yes then i'll do one thing if it's no then i'll do another thing you know what i mean um, well, like, with a giant that's right in front of you, it would hear you. You would need to be loud enough that it would hear you. The other two, you know, they may have missed it, uh, but you, yeah. you need to be able to speak it in a, you know, a way, a manner that it'll work for the spell so it can't be whispered. Uh, right, right. I guess that's what I was kind of asking. Like, 
can I can I whisper it in a way that doesn't matter? But it, he has to hear it. That's cool. In that case, I'm gonna. Tr- I'm because I don't want my friends to get overwhelmed. I'm gonna cast Charm Person. Okay, so you want to look at the spell. Um, there is a limitation on the type of creature. Oh yeah, let's see here. Man, that's creatures. Oh shit! All right, so this is not Charm Creature. It, yeah, you, you would need Charm of Monster. Is. Charm Monster yeah. will work on the giants. Gotcha. I said thank you. Uh, that's me being just inexperienced. No, that no um, worries. No worries. Shit, then <laughs> this is a fucked up situation. It is. It I mean, is. You you generally don't want to camp in a giant's. I, I, I'm also okay with that. I'm okay with that. I might I might just be like I'm gonna stay quiet here and not do a damn thing. But I think it's fucking tough. Hold up. I mean, you, you could definitely sit there and be quiet and wait for your moment. Um, you get the impression that they are moving in to to try to get past that door. Yeah, and so I'm looking at um, one more spell here, and then I've got an idea, and then I'll let you like proceed here. Give me one second. Yeah. Ah, son of a bitch. It's all verbal somatic. Everything I'm looking at is verbal somatic. So yeah. here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast, if I can, get it off, uh, an, uh, race form. Oh, no, so that's, not, that's somatic and material. All right, yes, I'm gonna cast. You can do it. Quiet. That's cool. Uh, so I'm gonna cast race form, and I'm gonna move in underneath the door and wake everybody up. Okay. Is, it, is that do, is that doable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's perfectly doable. Take it on yourself. All right. Uh, you cast it on Bugbear. Target yourself. There you go. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move us back into the other uh, room. Um, what does? Do you know what wraith form? Do you want to? Are you going to move in there and then get past the door and then immediately turn it off so you can speak? Because I don't think, as a wraith, no form of attack is possible. I want to accept. They're going to treat you in the ethereal form. Dispel magic will remove it. I'm assuming that you can't speak. You're insubstantial. They wouldn't hear you. No. They would just see you like a ghost form move into the room. Actually, I'm even going to hopefully try to get the glyph to kick off. I'm just gonna on you? Go for it. You want to trigger it on yourself? I mean, if I'm, unless I can trigger it as raid form and not be affected, I don't know if there's some sort of like way. Uh, I don't think it's gonna trigger on you because you're not in the raid form. Basically, means you're ethereal and stuff okay, like that so wouldn't trigger. It, instead of that, then I'll move past the glyph and into the room and then where i'm past a glyph i will like just drop the spell and then i'm gonna try to like shake people awake without trying to make any more any noise or anything like that okay all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to toggle your visibility so they can't see you you probably can't see yourself can you i can't no okay so i'm gonna move you into the middle of the room and then we'll switch over to there and then i'm gonna let you uh, I'm, I'm, don't say anything when we go in there. I'm just going to move you into there, and then I'll come back and I'll ask them what they're doing. We'll kind of go through there because they're going to have to have some things they're going to want to do before. And I want to see if it kind of lines up with what you're doing. If not, we'll just in the middle of it interrupt them or wait you know, or say they're asleep, sort of thing. All right. I, lo- I love. I didn't realize that you moved into a different room, so that's great. <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's, that's cool. Okay. That's okay. All right. Awesome. I'm going to move you back and I'll jump in there too. Tell one back All with right. me, dog. Uh, all right, gentlemen, I'm sorry it took so long. We were kind of having discussions about various things. but So um, he has moved out, um, quiet outside. You guys, uh, what was the rest of the watch status going to be? I know he was going to be out there. You guys um, are going to, I know the casters would be sleeping, probably along with Gunther. Um, but what do the rest of you guys want to do? Rest? Yeah. So in the middle of uh, his watch, um, Delwar, go ahead and um, since everybody's just asleep and there was nobody watching in here, um, you can just start from coming in underneath the door in your form and I've put you where you said you wanted, generally where you wanted to be. Yeah. 
So the first thing I do is that the nearest person to me is, it looks like Gunther's the nearest one to me. Yep. I, I, I kind of tiptoe over to him and I kind of shake him a little bit and I, sh- and I move over and I shake Drog and I move over to Finfall and I kind of shake him. Okay. So I just, uh, like in, or, in that order, like just right. whatever. You, you, you eventually can get those three awoke. Um, Al, on the, the time whenever you are trying to wake Sir Finfall up, there is a loud crash against the door and it splits almost immediately in the I mean, it almost breaks completely open with one hit. Then you know when the next hit, it's gonna break open. You guys that are awake, you can see on the other side, there's this large gray skinned giant that is standing on the other side. And beside him is another one just like him. And behind all of those guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move all these dead bodies so I can uh, just get out of my way, guys. Who's got the chain? Uh, Black Mouse got the chain. Let's see. I'm going to do something because I don't want to uh, ruin the surprise here. So we're going to... There's this? another surprise? A, B, <laughs> C. This, is, this may cause everybody to reload. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, we're not, we're not going to mess with this um, because it is midnight. What is going to happen is the door is going to crack open with one whack that, and you guys are in the middle of waking up. The second hit hits the door, breaks it open. You see all these things and I'm going to let you, I'm going to, I'm going to reveal those that can see them. They are no longer hidden. You see all these things. Uh, I need, uh, let's see. Gunther it has, where's that spell? The hell are those things? Uh, they need to make another kind of giant. Yeah. Yep. And that is for the uh, glyph that uh, was on the door, and he saved. He smashed the door apart. It splits up and falls to the ground, and you can see it and the one next to it both have glowing green eyes. Oh, oh no. Well, and we need to move up to block the door. That way, we find them one at a time. <laughs> 